prequel. Okay, prequel. I have the oven on. I don't think it's beeped yet. Beep. Is it? Beep. Oh, well, let me do that. So, PD, if you want to trip in like five bucks, you can, but it's not required. PD. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. So the question is, how soon do we want this? Because if we get it, that means yeah. Josh can pretty much plan for it by by next week or yeah, 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 week after. So well, pretty he... much, I'd like the decision to be made today. Yeah. I'm willing to. Just so we can get it over with. Okay. You guys can chip in however much you want. Okie doke. We'll be. I, mean, I already said I was gonna give twenty, but. Oh my god. If you want to base it off that. I mean, he actually said he would give $37.25. I'd buy the whole damn thing if nobody else wanted to chip in. Bother me none. What the hell is money? Well, uh, Josh said he's going to be buying it, and then we can just pay him back. So I think PD and I will see him Friday or Saturday. One of the days. Oh no, my new job hasn't contacted me yet for trading. So I should oh still have off God. Friday and Saturday. My God. Yes, that is me. Your God. Aren't you be goddess? Shh. I don't know if gender or anything. I'm cisgender, I'm a chick. Did you just say you were a cis? Cis gender. Cis gender is you identify yeah, I, with. I got you. Yeah. I got you. It's ending up in Bubba. Ugh. Okay. Are you, who are you calling Bubba? Bubs. Our patron. Oh. Patron Jenny! All hail. All hail, patron Jenny. Oh, alright. Oh, I need to get the camera up too. What am I doing? I'm decent. You're good. Oh, you're you're de okay. Good. Thank, no. thank goodness you're decent. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Jenna. Look at that shirt. Hey. Guess who got it for Christmas? It's this guy. Yeah. I'm who? Hi, Jenna. <laughs> thank you, Jenna. That guy. <laughs> Can you guys actually see what it has on the shirt so well? Okay. Yeah. We could also see Minnie like Mouse. Mine. That's actually one of my- Oh, mine, yeah. My, yeah. My... <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite shirts that you wear. This one? The Minnie Mouse one, yes. I don't know, I find it adorable. <laughs> Alright. Hello, my... you guys. We're missing one. Where's Ginger? Oh, she... I think she was about to jump up. Right there. Come on! Come on. Come on. I That's hear real. you. Ginger! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, your world Gigi. is so hard. Can you butt on camera? No butt yet. <laughs> but Just yet. tail. Just, Just tail. tail. I have to block it for YouTube. Get demonetized. <laughs> demonetized for too much cat butt. <laughs> All right. So much cat butt. So, so when we last left off, uh. A group of you were talking to Brea's brother mm -hmm. about an exploding chicken. Yep. Dibs. Dibs, by the way. Dibs. And... Does it just, like, live Too after early. every explosion? Hojo <laughs> did. Okay. Well, if you want to compare it to a previous chicken, yes, yes, it did. Except that but... last time. Rip. 
Eventually, things so, stop surviving blow-ups, right? Because because if so, I'm keeping that in my bag of holding. <laughs> I Just can't so you breathe know. in there. I, it's fine. There's no your air. Bag of, your bag of holding, one, is an invincible, and two, doesn't make the contents inside the bag invincible. No, no, it's three fine. Fine. is full of cookies. But you are right that if you make an explosion in a bag of holding, it stays in the bag of, the bag of holding. That's kind of cool. And then someone... As long as the explosion is less than 500 cubic feet. Would a chicken make the bigger feet? than 500 cubic feet? You've never met Pojo. Hmm. Anyway, continue, sorry. Who is this Pojo we keep speaking of? As I know, it's like there's these metagaming pigeons, like... Oh. Previous okay, campaigns, well. but uh, and then our friend Uelia stalked the uh, the town mayor and I I, 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 it. I just I just Batmaned it up. I got you. Oh yeah, but then she found one little interesting mark on the corner of the building, and that's where we stopped. Yes, I remember oh, that. That's cool. I couldn't find the image just alone, so I had to just put up one that was on a flag. Oh yeah, the and, it's a circle void. And you said I did see it, right? Yes. Yeah. It's the one that was on Brea's hand. I or, wasn't around uh, for that. Well, Willia sure. doesn't know anything about this mark. Mm -mm. Have I been but, seeing it around the area, or just or well, like what? around the town, or just this That's one? That's the first one you've seen, would you like to in investigate to see if there's more now that you've noticed it? Uh, sure, but I'll wait for you to finish what you were going over first. No, but that's it. Like, that was the very last thing we did. That's our recap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, sure, I'll uh, try to look around just around my immediate area. I'm not, or maybe I'll take a few steps here and there like around any houses or something to see if they have any of them hanging around or something. Or hiding. Okay. But Camera doesn't want to focus. I mean, <clears throat> again, we're in a situation where you can basically spend as much time doing whatever you want because there's no urgency, I guess is the word. Uh, Why? Of the game. You and PD both. <laughs> Dude, one time uh, he he oh, summoned yeah. a monster just to fight it himself. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Sounds like something Shrike would do. <laughs> I was a warlock as well. <laughs> it didn't. The monster didn't last very long. We but went still. over this. All right, we discussed this. Shrike is literally just let's fight. <laughs> But, after spending maybe another 10 minutes, you notice that maybe they're not all in the same spot of the houses, but every building you investigated within like 10 minutes of your area has that mark, one of them, somewhere on the base of the house. Screw you guy, now I'm hungry. Um... Okay, I'm gonna have LV fly up and then see if they make some kind of like symbol. Like, you get where I'm going? Like, if yeah. they connect in a certain way? You can't look through her eyes, right? I can't, no, but I, I mean, she would just tell me, I guess, when she gets back down to do anything like that. But no, otherwise, I cannot look through her eyes. I mean, LV can go up and see all the houses in the way that, you know, like, she can tell which ones have, or, like, just looking at the pattern of the houses, mm -hmm. but as far as she can tell, they don't seem to follow a particular pattern. Okay. I had an idea, and I was... But, okay. given, given... 
Uelia's intelligence, your probably your best bet is to maybe have a look at a map of a town, the town or something of that nature. What's you, Ellie, gonna do now? Uh. Cry. Oh no! <laughs> no. Rude. I I think I'm gonna try and find them first. At least find this giant cat because that's where I was told to uh, start there. My tea button doesn't so, wanna work. At the same time, both of you are basically gonna hear like. An explosion go off in the distance, much more closer to the rest of the group. But you all yeah, definitely hear an explosion. You guys all see just like a small black plume go off. Oh. Uh -huh. Jeez. Oh no! What did Shrike do now? <laughs> Accurate. Accurate. <laughs> are, are you gonna head towards Pact? I'm I'm heading towards it. Yeah. As yeah. like I said, I'm. Strongly believing that was Shrike. <laughs> he blew something up. So for the rest of the group, uh, so that goes off. It's much closer to you guys, so it's a little bit more startling. Jeez. Shrike is going to get out of the river that he's currently chilling in and head that way. Okay. What was that, what was that it? I'm looking to Brea's brother. Yeah. They're kind of trying to figure out what it can do. Who's they? The the rest of my family. Okay. Let, let's go check it out, I guess. Okay. Uh, imagine it's mainly dad. Yeah, okay. I'll show you the way. Okay. Show me the way. You do not know the way. You do not know the way. All right. So I was trying to pull this up for you guys. Is Kachina not gonna make it anymore? Um, I can try and miss her. Is there a did a she Mitchell forget today? again? No, Mitchell declined. The invitation. Yeah, Mitchell told me he wasn't gonna be able to make it today. Okay. Sometimes she forgets it's D and D day. I did message yeah. on Facebook, but I haven't got a reply yet. And that's alright. Sometimes stuff just happens. Let's see. There. I just spammed her Discord, so... <laughs> oh, God. Done. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> this is Accurate, probably right? some good imagery here. But, uh, more or less, this is kind of the feel that this place gives off. A lot of the buildings, when you get more to the central town where you guys landed, the buildings are built outside of the ground. But those are more for, like, commerce, like people who sell their vegetables and all the other stuff. That's where like everybody. So yeah, this is this is a Hobbit town. This is a halfling town. The as uh, about ninety percent of the people who live in this village are halflings. So the vast majority majority of places where people live look like this, where they're kind of built into the ground. Shrike the giant. Yes. Yes, you're about. Three times taller than a lot of these people. Oh, jeez. I am your god. Oh, lord. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Die. Oh, my god. When you say you're from a small town, you mean it. <laughs> and after that, uh... But, as you guys are making your way towards this very large farm, it's easy to kind of just soak in like once again uh just how much of this place is farmland like there's just crops as far as the eye can see and uh you see a lot of people working it but no one seems like 
overworked. Everybody seems to just be taking their time. This is like a very laid back at your own pace kind of uh, village to be in. And it's easy to kind of get where it's like you go to some places and it's easy to get caught up in moving faster. This place makes it really easy to slow down. So I don't know if there's anything in particular about a peaceful place like this that really reminds anybody of anything. Uh, I imagine most of Shrike's time has been spent underwater going from place to place. Yeah. And Lilith has spent a lot of her time on boats and harbors. Is Spirit Utopia pretty pretty chill, or is it like kind of crazy? No one, no one in any of the D and D groups I've had have ever been there. Well, except me now, bitch. Like, <laughs> have you been there? I'm from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm from right outside there. My okay, the score, and I think is what I called it. The score chill over by yeah. Spirit I was at the the people who I said the spirit utopia. I'll have to go over that with you a little bit later, but yes, your your area should be still chill. But I don't think it was ever like. I mean, there's always farmland in any place you go, but this place is just prosperous, like absurdly. Like it's hard to believe. That anybody makes use of how much crops exist here. Like, there's some places where the corn is, like, just as far as the eye can see. But you guys are eventually starting to get closer to this still somewhat uh, smoking area off in the distance when you only uh, start to catch up. She seems to be in a little bit of a haste. Are you okay? Did you find anything? Is he a spy? Wait, you were spy? Uh, the mayor seems fine. Doesn't seem out of the ordinary. But there is definitely something going on in this town. I, imagine I found these weird markings, and I'm not sure what they are. But they're not in every house, just... Some. Hmm. We'll have to but everybody that. just seems normal. Yeah, normal, other than the fact that they have an exploding chicken. Somewhere. I wanna see it. Is that what that was? Apparently. Hmm. The little boy goes, uh huh. That's about. And you see him start counting with his fingers. Uh. It happens a lot. Oh. At least, it, at least it doesn't happen at night. <laughs> That's good. I I thought I thought Shrike might have done something. I resent that. Did you catch up, Shrike? <laughs> I was technically closer than you, Alia. I was about to say. It's true. Yeah. Okay. So if she's there, I'm there. Because so Shrike didn't have to really catch up at all. He just had to get out of the water. <laughs> Did he wash off the mustache? <laughs> oh no! He Did never, you get your head wet? He never submerged himself, so I'd imagine no. Yes. No, it's still there. Your glorious still... mustache. It There's is also the fact that I still don't know about it. Yep. Yes. Dang, when was the last time we bathed? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, Strike just did everything but his head, by definition. Well, you don't need water for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's go on. Let's uh, see what happens. So, what did what did you guys find out? Are you guys gonna just kind of walk and talk at this point? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we haven't done anything yet. So... We just started walking towards. Oh. We're about to see. Yeah. Uh, uh, I I guess I found those markings. Um, odd enough where I probably would have copied their image down on a parchment or something. Drawn something 
just kind of trace them out and see. Okay, I'm right and I need you to focus. So what markings were you talking about? Yeah, I'm just going to say I did that then. Uh, so I dig into the bag and I just pull out the markings, or just pull out the piece of paper that I drew that would have that marking on it. Do you guys know anything um, about this? That, you guys should all recognize it immediately. That's like a, a demon tracker? Isn't that the one that Brea had on her hand at one point? Yeah, the yeah. demon used it to track her. Huh. Was it the so demon given, or the cult? Given the situation, you guys should be aware that it's also the symbol of a forbidden god, I guess you could say. Of um, chaos. Not, of so not Jenny. That is not the symbol of Jenny. Aww. <laughs> she said she could so be. <laughs> Jenny's symbol is like a Hershey's kiss so, or a bar of chocolate or something. So there's a good shot that these guys are... Yeah. Oh. At least this is the symbol related yeah. to cultists. You're it's related uh, to bad things. Let's say that. Is your ring already recharged, Dave? No. Oh, no. It is now. Cool. Oh no. I don't know if I ever went over that with you. But, um, uh, you did, but we, um, I didn't roll at the end of session last week, so. Okay. I've just been rolling at the beginning if I don't hear anything from you. Fair enough. And I got a 20, so there you go. Nice. Yeah, okay. That can't be good. I guess that means be on our guard. There's definitely something really bad happening. In and this town, refresh and... my memory. I overheard a conversation with uh, Jester, or I can't remember if I was around for if my character was around during that. But there being Jester's. In uh, town. the mayor told you. The mayor told me. Yeah, and we heard about it from the brother, or no, the children. Okay. That's right. Yeah, I don't think I was around for that at that. Not point. that one. But you're around for a different. Yeah, one. but the but the mayor did mention it. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. There's something shady going on in this town. Oh. What do you uh. guys think? Have you guys found anything else? We haven't done anything yet. We were literally oh. just following the little boy to the barn. We're just hey, this the little, little boy, boy has a name. Chicken? What is your name, little boy? Young child. What is your name, little boy? Little Rhea, that's not name? creepy or anything. <laughs> Do you want a piece of candy? I have cookies! So many like cookies that? I shall give you! Hi, of course, small dog! Hi. Of course, when I actually try to look for it, now it's not me. I've been in here all day. There is Dune. That's not... Oh, it's spelled. I don't know what my brain is doing. <laughs> the reason the dog heard about the cookies. You want a cookie? That's different from what I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to hit the A. It's go lay down. Somebody flush the toilet. That's all that is. But that's, that's different the from. The that's different from the markings on that thing that you sent. Yeah. The markings it's on the back. A little bit. Huh? Still in the chat. Well, that's the again. This is what was dug that was into. On the wall. Right. Oh, okay. At least I, like I couldn't simplified. find. I couldn't find a simplified version, and then I yeah. just did. So this is what it's actually shown, or this is yep. much more accurate to what's dug into the houses. Okay. Very simple vortex. Maybe they're just dizzy. No. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys think? What should we do? Well, we haven't. We we need. I want to see the chicken. Anybody. I want to see and the chicken. I think we need through. to discuss why you thought it was me that blew things up. Um. <laughs> let's just say you have a trigger finger. Valid. That's fair. Except, let's move on. Okay, so let's find this exploding chicken, see what's going on, and then 
find out what's going on with these cultist dudes because there's a lot going on here that we don't know. They seem to pop up everywhere. The thing that worries and me is no that one the has townsfolk seen any of these. They, look, the townsfolk seem to be oblivious of anything happening, and that's what worries me the most. Um. But we were told that there was an Indeed. elemental threat, or yes, something happening in this town. An exploding chicken N sounds kind of interesting. Town. It is kind of fire, so like exploding. And is there any creature you know of, Eulia, that would explode like that? Aside from this chicken that you guys keep talking about, <laughs> hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, would I know something? Hold up. Give me a nature check. <laughs> no, exploding chickens do not reside in nature. <laughs> Natural 20. Ooh, Ooh. 25. Yeah. 25. Oh. So what is what is the grand total, though? 25. 25. Jinji, I want to touch your ears. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, out of everything that you can possibly think of that explodes when it's, just when it feels like it or when it dies, uh, elementals have a tendency to do that. Methods, which are like minor demons, have a tendency to do that. Uh, there are certain plants, like gas spores, that explode if you touch them. Uh, there's vicious little monsters called magmans that have a tendency to explode when defeated. So there's... I mean... There's a, there's a lot. There, uh, there's a lot, but like, the, 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 the biggest... The biggest, what's the word I'm looking for? The biggest culprits of exploding are usually demons. Oh, demon chicken. <laughs> Does it lay deviled <laughs> eggs? Oh wow. my god. I had I to be guy to that one. I had to be guy to that one. I know. He I wanted to remind you to put your inspiration back on, but you know what? <laughs> Take oh, it yeah. off. No! <laughs> no! No! Come on. Don't forget, well, everybody. Well, I have... Give yourself inspiration. Okay. 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 Well, I haven't necessarily done a lot of research on exploding things. I do know of a couple creatures that do. Uh... The Yay. first ones that come to mind are demons. Uh, those are the primary ones that I can think of, and I know elementals, certain plants, things of that nature. Pretty much anything as a form of defense or a last-ditch effort, it'll explode. Mm. Because so usually, from the scholar's perspective, usually the when you think of a creature exploding, it's usually methods. But usually, if it explodes, that's it. They don't come back. Oh no, no, no! Says little boy. It turns back into an egg. The... Cool, cool. So the chicken wiener. Oh. Wait, what oh, yeah. came first, though? Oh well, no! It came okay, into the farm as a chicken. Okay. And we chicken. thought it was, but it was weird because. It was a little bit bigger than the other chickens. I think was, we need to see this chicken. Oh, yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't very smart, but it wasn't mean or anything. But one day, one of the other farm animals scared it, and uh, it blew up. We, we lost the the barn oh. that it was in. Oh. And and then it just what was left was just an egg. Yep, there was just an egg. Luckily, none of the other animals were harmed. Oh, that's good. And and how long would this egg take to hatch to create? About an hour. Oh. 
<laughs> They've timed it. We need to see this chicken. Okay. Come on. I, I think we need to see this chicken. Dad's been doing a lot of testing on it. Yeah, I'd Take like us. to actually see... I'd like to see this chicken and his research notes. And his research notes. <laughs> um, while we're walking, can I kind of zone out and reach out to my spirits to see if they know anything? Salamander speaks up. There's a, fe a sense of kindred spirit. Yes, there's... There's another one that has much of my essence within it. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Which, of course, nobody else hears this. Nope. Nope. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I, I'm gonna ask the little boy, what color is this chicken? <laughs> just well, out of curiosity. Originally, it was white. What do you mean, originally? Is it not white what, anymore? What it, color it, is it now? Does it change colors every time it comes back? Well, about the third time it happened, it came back like ruby red. Huh. Really pretty. The feather, the feathers. The people in the town. I don't know if you noticed, but everybody wants the feathers. Oh. So when it I'm is, I'm going loads, to assume that I'm starting the... to piece things together as far as an idea of what this thing is. Sure. Based on, yeah. Based okay, on. Yeah, so, just the things that he's telling me, and I guess anything I would have known or read. As far as Ueli is concerned, this... I'm assuming this is the phoenix. Nope. No. The, the biggest dilemma with the phoenix is that... Well, let me put it this way. Ueliya can't... I would say Ueliya would definitely have that hunch. I'm not going to speak for Ueliya. But... Well, that's what I'm going with. To, to fill in a little bit that Ueli would know, uh, the Phoenix is a very high-level elemental. Like, but I don't think it's ever taken the form of a chicken. Right, and that's what's stumping her. is. But that's I'm also hearing it from a kid. So, bird, chicken... And yeah. most of the Elder eggs. Elementals hate people. Like, Hate people. Elementals do not like mortals. Okay. So then... Okay. So if, if I was a phoenix, I'm pretty sure everything would have been burned down in four weeks. That, or for some reason it likes people. Maybe this one's different. So, so when it, when it explodes, know. it leaves behind its feathers? Well... I think it's just the, fe the feathers are there, or they might just... It just leaves behind its feathers. Them, yeah, it, it just kind of leaves behind its feathers every now and again. When it explodes, Either... does it leave behind meat? No. It, just an egg. How, how big is this egg? Oh. oh! That was the other weird thing. Like most of the eggs, and you put those in, they're like this big. Chickens usually lay like eggs like this big. Yeah. But its egg is like this big. Ooh. Oh. And when it hatches, it's just a chicken. It doesn't even become a chick. I love it. Just, uh, just we need, we are continuing chicken. to walk over to see this freaking okay. chicken. I need to see Pojo. Pojo Jojo. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys get five seconds at the end of that little conversation, and again, Another moat cloud. Another explosion. <laughs> it's a little bit unnerving because now at this point you're actually starting to be pelted by like little pebbles and rocks that are flying from that direction. Is it still blowing up houses too... or is it just out in a field at this point? It's. He seems to be taking you guys out into a field. Okay. So. That was too in quick succession. Does it not die after an explosion? 
it seems to die and then turn into an egg. But it, or not necessarily doesn't... die, but... Yeah, isn't there a grace period? Yeah, like an hour. <laughs> I don't supposed... think it has a cooldown, no. <laughs> they were supposed to be, but ever since it turned red, sometimes it gives off smaller explosions without actually turning back into an egg. Yeah, maybe it just stop poking it. That's so rude. It just wants to chill. And it only explodes fun. when it gets frightened or surprised, mm -hmm. or well, just he, he the seems sake to, of exploding. He kind of looks away when you ask that question. You've been poking it, haven't you? We started with poking it. Has it killed and anybody? Until Timmy lost his arm. Now you're so just rude. Hearing it, aren't Poor you? chicken just wants to be a chicken and like. Me. From poking it to scaring it to hitting it. Oh, uh. that's so mean. I mean. Okay, let's let's continue. Oh, poor chicken. Dad was wondering if this could be an infinite chicken. Like, can you make infinite meat? Make sense. But the poor chicken. You hit the poor but chicken. When we hit the chicken, the the. I'll let Dad explain. I'm not good at this. Okay. So finally, you guys start getting closer, and uh, as you start getting to this area, you notice that there's like a lot of boulders in this area. But now there seems to be a lot of spots where mm -hmm. the boulders are just a lot of smaller rocks. You can see, like, I, I wouldn't call them craters, but, like, explosion marks. Mm -hmm. Like someone threw an M80 in there. And... <laughs> <laughs> and you see a much older uh, halfling and... Uh, it's basically, basically two male halflings. One's much older, and one is much younger. And you hear, you start to get hear the conversation that they're having. Well, Dad, uh, this is kind of getting a little bit crazy. And he goes, nonsense, my boy. At this rate, we'll have all these rocks cleared from the field. We can make a new field for more crops. Well, that's great, Dad, but so productive. You, you do realize that, like, the last one literally sent a rock through the window of the house. And he goes, ah, oh, we can fix that. No big deal. Oh. Did you die? But did you die, though? I'm gonna call Peter. Oh, no! <laughs> Hello! Hi there! Hello! As you stuff your face with all of the pizza. They both turn around. And then they see uh, the little boy. Oh! Alright, what did she. She said his name was Tig? Yes. I'm pretty sure it was Tig. Yes. Tig! Who are all your friends? And the little boy runs up to grab his father's leg and wraps around, and they both just hug each other. Rhea so, should technically be with us, right? Should. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the situation. <laughs> well, he, doesn't, he doesn't seem to have noticed her just yet. Good, good. Hi there, we're various friends. We're from the academy, and we were sent to help with an issue. Sort of. So he looks up and gives a more closer look, and he kind of fixes his glasses a little bit. Various? My word! My little girl! Oh. And the little boy tied laughs and they all just start running forward and you see them all just tackle Brea and there's a lot of laughing and hugging and smiles I immediately oh. ignore all of that and just start moving closer to whatever where's the chicken yeah where's the chicken I, I just like while they're 
doing all that, I'm just going right towards that chicken. It's famous. I'm gonna go follow you, Elia. So they just start talking amongst themselves, regaling, telling stories, and all that stuff. Um. So who's staying to talk to the gentleman, and who's moving on to the chicken? I'm going with you, Shrike is interested in the thing that can blow up. Okay. Uh, I was going to stick with Shrike and Lilith, but now I feel bad that we're just all ignoring the people. So We have our priorities straight. I, I was about to say, I'm not concerned with your family at the moment. <laughs> I'm more concerned. We came here to help the on. village, not her family. Oh, well, that. But I'm more concerned on what's happening with this thing that I've never heard of. <laughs> um, I guess I'll leave Brea to talk, and I'll stick with Shrike and Lilith and Yulia. I knew you would see it our way. <laughs> so, they do their thing. They're very happy and laughing and. Uh, on the ground. So you guys start moving up towards this brand new spot for this beautiful beautiful ruby red chicken is just standing looking back at you guys and there's just a crate like almost a crater explosion mark from where it's standing. Oh, well, isn't he cute? Hello, chicken! I'm gonna, like, hunch, I'm gonna hunch down a little bit and slowly make my way over to it. Ooh, ooh! Um, I take out a cookie and I crumble it a little bit and I give some crumbles to you, Aliyah. Okay. It, so it, it, uh, and immediately, once it starts seeing the crumbles, it immediately is like trying to get the crumbles that are falling out from your hands. Mm. And, like, desperately trying to get to the crumbles that. Yuelia now has. Oh, it's oh, hungry. Nice chicken. Poor thing. And it, it makes all of its little happy coos and clucks. Oh. Oh. Hello, little friend. I mean, it seems pretty friendly and very happy. I would like to pick it up. Please don't. I, I take like three steps back. D20, please. Me? Oh, God, no. Why would you do that? Because I want to hug the chicken. <laughs> All I wanted to do was hug the chicken. That's a 16. <laughs> Is a 16 enough to make it not explode? Nothing seems to be happening. I'm holding it while you, Elia's feeding it. Oh, no. I, I would like to hold it and Be give it neck scratches. Please carefully put it down and try not but, to scare it. But he likes he neck scratches. But he likes does. the neck scratches. He does seem to like the neck scratches. He likes the neck scratches. <laughs> you know, only you would pick up an explosive object so casually. Oh, yeah. Can I just try and take a look at it, see if I can notice anything odd about this creature, aside from the visualization? Kinda, you're just gonna assess it? Yeah. I'm gonna stand like 10 feet now, back. Normally, you have all the time in the world, so I wouldn't like make you do a roll for an investigation. But as you're looking at it, you hear a strange hissing sound, like a no. fuse. <laughs> But, in this particular case, it's not something in the norm, so it, you're, you're spending more... It's more of a precise look as opposed to... Yes, you're, you're really trying to see the fine details of this creature, so... Um, can I, oh, okay. can I, like, assess by, like, um, making sure it's occupied with snackums in one hand and holding so she can, like... Look at over it carefully. Make an handling, animal handling check. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, can Shrike reach out to Salamander and see if this <gasps> is the connection in oh, question yeah. that he referred to earlier? <laughs> Mira dice rolled natural twenty. So twenty-two. 
Fantastic. I'm so excited. Thank you, Mira Dice. I'm so glad we're burning all our nat 20s. <laughs> right? Oh my freaking god. <laughs> okay, if I we're just gonna roll one. On a freaking chicken. My Mira Dice loved me, and it loves the we chicken. We get into combat. We start rolling ones. I'm walking away. It's how it always <laughs> happens. Just Ask Lilith, okay? Did I hear combat? <laughs> I heard combat. I heard combat. <laughs> Damn it. I stabbed the chicken. God damn it! I'm holding the chicken. Oh, don't do what? it. Hello. Yes! Uh, yes! Hello. We met your dad. <laughs> okay. I'm very sorry I was late. My internet was crapping out. Oh, okay. okay. Welcome. Uh, we, we currently uh, have you. Uh, you have just met up with your parents and they just tackled you to the uh, floor. Your dad and, and, and one out. of your right. older brothers. Um, they were in a field, apparently doing Mom tests on the chicken. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, they're, they're in a field trying to clear the rocks using the explosive chicken because your dad wants to, like, make this oh, field into another field. Here. Basically, it sounds older. like her dad. Older? He wants to build a mini mall. He's terraforming. <laughs> oh, He's older. terraforming. <laughs> Older, Halvir, and Tiger there. Okay. Uh, and Mira's holding an explosive well. device. But, so, yeah, I need a, you got a 19 on the investigation. Yeah, I got a She got a 22, 22 on the animal handling. And I need one more just D100 from Shrek. Oh, boy. Shrike, are you trying to stab the chicken while it's in my hands or no, something? No, um, I'm reaching out to... Take one of its feathers? Uh, Rude. No, I'm reaching out to no, Salamander. No, he's, he's okay. looking to talk to his spirit. <laughs> uh, D100. Boom. Roll. I picked up 44. the explosive chicken, and I'm giving the explosive chicken neck scritches and feeding so, him cookies. It's a good as time, you, right? As you reach out to talk to... Uh, Salamander, the chicken was perfectly calm, perfectly content. <laughs> no issues, it was eating the cookies, uh, Uelia was checking it out, assessing it, but the moment, the moment you talk to Salamander, something changes, and the chicken snaps to 100% stiff attention. Like, it is... Focused, literally, like, because it has to turn its eyes sideways. It is literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'm taking. It, oh. is, um, it, is, it is almost as if that chicken knows what salamander is. It feels like. Try. What, what you What you doing? This might be our issue. It's time for a chicken to make, for the record. Um, did, did you think this chicken What is salamander? Fire elemental? Oh, the salamander water elemental? My, so, salamander oh. is my fire spirit. Mira. Oh, okay. That's right, that's Mira. right. Mira is the water. Um, okay. chicken is starting... have... I'm just gonna use uh, mushroom. This, this um, chicken is starting to get really hot. Shrike, whatever you're doing, please stop. I'm just gonna set it gently on the ground. It's okay, little guy. I'm gonna start calm, taking my. Calm. I'm just gonna start taking steps back. I'm, I'm, I'm back. taking steps back. Calm, you're okay. Calm. Good oh, chicken. The wings back. are starting to go out a little bit. Taking steps Nothing back. Nothing seems to be calming this thing down. Calm. I would like to dive behind a boulder, please. That would be. I think there are any boulders. They've been blowing them up. There's <laughs> still some boulders left. Just stop right here. Give me rough estimates on how close everybody is to this chicken. <laughs> I was closest, and then Uelia was next closest, and then. I, well, I was com well, Willis, I was backing away after you after you put it down, and we saw and that it was started... trying to strike down. I was backing yeah, I away. Wanna... From... I want to so, know specifically in measurements of five feet how okay. far away you were. As of this moment, I'd say my character is probably 100 feet. 15, 20 feet away. Okay. 
So when they started inspecting the chicken and she picked it up, I backed up 10 feet. That's right. And when it started doing all that, I went back <laughs> another, like, 15. Okay. Uh, Shrike doesn't need to get close to anything, so he probably started, like, 10 feet away. And then when he when the chicken was like, eh, then Shrike was like, I'll fight you. So Shrike is now the closest? Shrike is probably 10 feet away from the chicken, yeah. He did not back down. And lastly, Mira. Um, so, I mean, I set him down and I started backing up, so I'm probably still within 5 to 10. But you said you dive right behind a rock, which would be fi at least yep. 15. Yeah, I would like to dive behind a rock. Okay. The common I mean, techniques don't work! I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh am I God. here, by the way, or am I somewhere else? Uh, you're <laughs> over talking to your parent, your dad. Okay. So, oh, I mean, you're, in the, you're, you're in the area, but it's, I guess it's up to Josh to find well, out. Well, no, she... Not... Ow. She's am not safe? safe? Okay. Yeah, you're not close enough to have to make yeah. that rule. Oh, wait, a yeah. dex save? Yeah. I'm, I got an 11. So, um, so, I used my inspiration. Oh, thank God, I uh, thought that was a 1. Oh, it was a 7. Was a I, got one. An, I got an 11 as well. I was a one, and then so I used my inspiration. I rolled a seven, so or I... sorry, seven total. Just so you know, an eleven doesn't make it. No! <laughs> oh no! Okay, Measure chance if you want to burn some inspiration. I would like to burn Bye. an inspiration. I'll burn it. Can I give my inspiration to Dave? Yeah. Okay, Dave, roll again. Okay, Boy. that's better. Uh... <laughs> no! I got an eight. <laughs> So I'm an eight now. <laughs> okay. You roll uh, like me. I rolled, I all rolled three of my saves together. Don't even make twenty. I got a fifteen. I rolled a sixteen total. Fifteen makes it. Eighteen. Well, you know about 18 my inspiration is it gave you plus eight to your previous roll, and now you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's fine. Sorry, I got I'm this. Not, I'm, I'm not giving up my inspiration right now. I'm changing the dice, by the way. I'm sorry. What did you roll, Mikey? 16. 16 makes it. Basically, you had to beat a 12. Still close. Wow. Wow, two inspirations, three inspirations down already. Fine. So who has inspiration left, Uelia and... Uelia. I think That's the list. That's the list. That's the list. That's the list. Or did you use yours too, Lilith? Yeah. I rolled oh. a 6, plus 5. Oh my god. And I rolled All a right, 7 cool. plus I'm 4. I'm the only so. one who rolled well. <laughs> Yep. This is what well, happens. When we I'm not giving mine up, so. <laughs> That's what happens when our nat 20s get used up right away. On fucking chickens. Well, hmm, bad for you. be doing that as your action. My god. Well, <laughs> for everybody who passed, you take 14 points of fire damage. Oh, oh my god. god. Okay, so people are just Ouch. dead, is what I'm understanding. Nah, I'm good. Who didn't pass? You take uh, 28 points of fire damage. That is more than my, my total. I'm going to Geomancy cast Absorb Elements fire damage, so I take half. Action. Nicely done. I, so I in a way, you pass the roll. <laughs> Damn. I pass, but I um, have to use a special so one. For the people who got above 12, you're only taking 14 points of damage. Which to her. Okay. Well, Which I need to... Which should be everybody but Shrike. But Shrike okay, is because of his spell. So Shrike's going to reaction. Shrike's going to take, yeah. Shrike's take half because he casts Absorb Elements. So this is how I imagine it. And then in slow motion, it's like a fire blast going out, and I just see Shrike. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do something cool? Sure. Can I notice Maybe? a flying chunk of rubble coming at me and me use my anchor to baseball bat it away from my family? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh... You quickly whip out your anchor and just... Uh, I imagine... I'm not sure if you would like baseball bat it like a baseball and a baseball bat. But you definitely are able to whip your anchor around, at least knock it aside so it doesn't hit anybody. Yeah, yeah, you get it. But 
just everybody gets flung back onto their backs. Uh, even uh -oh. Mira, who go behind the rock, even just the sheer impact goes around the rock and sends you rolling yeah. backwards. That's it. I fucking hate that chicken. Trace, so what do you do? Who took more than half their health in one hit? Thanks to my Me. storm element, I'm just shy of half. Okay. So oh no, did, Lilith. Lilith almost died. Oh, yeah. 14 damage? Yeah. No, 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 no. If I didn't save, I would have died. Oh. But did you take half? Yeah. Yeah. If you take half, I need a con. 28 would outright kill. A 14 is more than half. As a, if you took half or higher, I need you to do a constitution saving throw to remain conscious. Uh, okay, so that includes me? So you're 15. telling me if the chicken sees a source yes. of fire if or blows took, up? If you took half your HP and damage or oh, higher. I did not. Okay. You have more HP than the rogue? Um, no, I, I, think, some, I think my HP points. is probably tossed around somewhere. You. Hang on. I can find out. I What's your HP right HP. now? I have 27. Yualia has... You? Yualia has 37 HP. What?! What?! Me... That, hold on. That might not be accurate. Yeah, let me take a look at this really quick. You jacked con? <laughs> no, your total possible HP is 24. Okay, that's... Alright, so then yeah, this, so this is from something else. I'm not sure what that came up from, but yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, that seems a little high. That's okay. <laughs> so that was definitely more than half. Okay. So you did you already adjust it? Yeah, it is adjusted. Yeah, okay. Roll a constitution. Okay, and so twenty-four. Okay, so then yeah, I need to do a constitution saving. So if you just click, I don't know if you've used it yet, but if you just click the plus two on your con. Yes, I just did. Oh, um, what was it? Plus eleven. I'm sorry, just eleven, <laughs> not plus. Uh, Yualia did not pass, oh. and Lilith needs to make the save too? Lilith? Yeah, I got a 15. Yeah. Lilith passed, so Yualia is unconscious. Oh, jeez. Lilith <laughs> is like, ugh. <laughs> and Shrek is also reeling. Everybody's reeling at this point. I'm, I can't just have a day. Just a day. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Um, uh, do you want me to do something for LV or? No. No? Okay. Um, I will go. I, already ro I rolled for her already. She has evasion. Okay. I oh. would like to go over to. I wish I did. Right. Okay. I'm gonna I to sit up and see if it's an egg now. So, just to let you know, uh, your fairy homunculus has evasion. So yeah. in any dexterity throw that it has to make, on a fail it takes half, on a success it takes none. Right. For dexterity. The, the second week in a row I've seen you drinking a Diet Dr. Pepper, are you okay? What? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to go see the doctor, so he brought the doctor to him, it's fine. What, what did I miss? I said this is the second week in a row I've seen you drinking a Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yes, I got six of them. I drink ah. whenever I can. That's that's okay then. <laughs> uh, so is it an egg oh. now? Yes, it is an egg now. It is a very uh like blood red scarlet egg though. Oh, it's upsetty spaghetti. Okay. I I look so. up and look around and I'm like, what happened? Shrike did something! <laughs> For the people I, who I are conscious, we faced with I didn't technically do anything to the chicken. All I did was try to talk with my spirit. I'll and turn to my my dad and ask him, "Does my it word. normally blow up like that?" No, and you, uh, all of your speech of me, like, "No, what the hell was that?" Hey, hey, hey! Watch your language. Mm -hmm. I said hell, Dad. <laughs> My word. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna go he over to Uelia. He leans into uh, Brea. Is my wig still on? Yes, you 
slide. Oh. What what does it normally do when it explodes? I mean, we've been using the. I mean, these rocks are huge. We uh, it's so hard to get rid of them. We usually have to use the animals to pull them, and they get tired. And Rather I... than all that, we were actually blowing up the rocks, and it was working. But never, never have we gotten it to blow up like that. <laughs> How were you getting it to blow up before? What would you do? They were poking the chicken. They were hurting it. Dad hit it with a club. That's so mean. <laughs> That's really messed up. <laughs> yeah, it, it comes back. Have you ever, like, lit a fire near it before? What happens if Shrike... You hear Colvier. Don't even think about it. <laughs> um, I uh, can... Can I... I, I need to help you, up and, uh, Yeah, I'll get up and brush myself off. Okay. Um, I would like to do a... Uh, like, medicine... I've been trying to. I've been trying. Okay. Um, Everyone's behind Shrike, so Shrike takes no notice. I would like to <laughs> do like a medicine check and see if some heals would help or to, how to make her not unconscious anymore. That'd be great. Oh, cool. Helda hey. is what they call Gouda. Where it's from? It's pronounced Helda. Actually, as you go to rush over to her, she she snaps to I guess that's the best word to it for it. Oh my god, oh, a chicken god. exploded! <laughs> but for Aurelia, it's literally shell shock. Like your ears are ringing, everything's like blurry, <laughs> and your head's like going all over the place because your equilibrium's off, and you're just like, oh. Are you okay? What the hell was that? And I'm gonna immediately look around for LV to see if she's okay. What Yuvalia says in her head is what the hell is that? What Yuvalia actually says is, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fuck. This is why we don't mess with an exploding chicken. Trike! I didn't do it! <laughs> You did something, it was staring at you with his beetle eyes. All I did was try to talk with my salamander. And then it was I all mean, angry. Because he's a source of fire. Yeah, which means he's the bad guy in this situation. But salamander so, I meant because salamander is a fire spirit. Yeah. But you said you're taking care of Yuvalia? Yes, I am. Okay, uh, you don't need a medicine check because, again, you're... You have enough free time to mess with it. Uh, she she definitely got thrown around a good bit. What? He does not look that great. That that seems to have been a pretty serious injury. Okay, I would like to use my wand of cure wounds, my fancy new gadget. I want to try it out. I need a uh, interact with magical object. Fudge stick. I'm um, so bad at that. Okay, I'm gonna I'll... use that here. I just click. Ah, oh, seven. Bam. Nothing bad happens, but nothing comes out of the wand, so it loses a charge. Oh. Can I work on raising <laughs> that, please? Because that's not okay. Well, generally, this is only, I mean, I'll have to give it my discretion, but basically it's because it's a new object that you've never messed with before. Yeah, I would like to work on that, though. It's okay, I'm gonna... Did you want to try again? Um, I would like to try again. And focus. Okay. Heals. Heals. Okay, let's go back. Skills, let's try that shit again. That was just not that. That was an eight or nine that time. Uh, you should just press the button right there. Mm -hmm. Press it. Uelia has finally kind of come to, and you see Mira trying to use this wand, and she is absolutely not using it correctly. Yes, you do know how to use it. 
Can I use it on myself? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Here, let me use this. And I, Move, well, I have. Peasant. Do you want me to use? Do you want me to do? Use nope, the you don't need to. Bippity okay. boppity boop. I'm proficient in it. I was about to say you, you pretty much, for all the basic ones, like level one ones, you can okay. use without a problem. Okay. Now, well, now Mira, paying attention, sees that. Euelia is reading the script on the wand. There's an incantation that unseals it. Oh. And once the whole incantation is read, the wand lights up oh. and casts her wounds. Go ahead and roll. Or you can yeah. do exclamation point cast. Wounds, I think. I'm not sure. One D eight plus well, I three. Have wounds. I can just yeah, yeah, just I roll off that. Okie dokie. Oh, hey, look at that. Yes, yeah, yeah. eleven. You healed. Wow. Me. God damn. That's three yeah. charges down. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Well, it recharges. Yeah, it does. Okay. So maybe strike. You don't. <laughs> So, so maybe don't talk to your spirits, or let us know before you do. Around, or, Monsieur yeah. Chicken. Um, as an idea, Mr. Uh, Rojo. Is, is Lilith still? Is Lilith still down? No, she got up. Or... Lilith got up or not? Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, you don't know, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to Lilith then and use. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna use some of my. I'll, I'll just use close wounds. Okay. Peepee, -pee, you there? I just got back, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, you will is coming over to use close wounds on you if you want to use a hit die to heal. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, you. Lilith didn't look all that great either. Ooh, Max! Nice! Nice! nice. At least we're getting some good rolls here. <laughs> Jeez. So you're okay. So uh, I'm gonna look her over and see if she's looking better. Just much more medical much, attention. Much or... A lot of the gashes and cuts have healed up. Thank I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna go check out Watch the egg hands. then. And originally, one of Lilith's eyes was like blood red, like the white was red. That's white again, so that's good. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna scream over. Don't touch that chicken. Not a chicken anymore. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna go pick, it. I'm gonna go pick up the egg and take it away from Shrike. No. Yes. Oh no. Yes. Shrike is gonna mage hand it. Explode from inside no. The egg. No. He's gonna uh, burn her. So as you go to grab the egg, it's hot. It's very hot. much. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know if you still want to hold it, but you immediately take three points of fire damage from grabbing it. Ouch! 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 Do you let it go, or you do you hang on to it? Ouch! Ouch! Uh, I would like to. Um, I'm gonna take more fire damage to set it down gently. Okay, I don't want to like throw it and scramble the poor little. As guy. long as you send it down within six seconds. Yes. One turn. Okay. It so is it's all... a self cooking egg. Yeah. So this is obviously what we came here to fix. Kinda called it. Like the nice. moment you sit it back down the grass, like the grass starts to catch fire a little bit. I'm gonna take out my glacial pistol. But if this was the issue, why did they go to so much effort to hide it? Who? The mayor. Oh, Brea oh, doesn't yeah. know. Brea's character knows, but Brea doesn't know. What do I not know? Inform me. Um, so in character chat, there's the spiral thing. Um, Ewalia has now told us about the yeah. symbol that she found. I, I found the symbols of the same whatever one the that was on were. your hand. Yeah, uh, it's I remember on... that from last week. Yep. But she didn't and tell us last time. It was on multiple time. houses. It was on now multiple houses. Know. Yeah, now our yeah, characters are multiple but houses. How do we know the chicken is related to this? We don't. We don't. Okay. We're kind of trying to put two and two together, and right now we're getting You didn't see that sick tattoo that chicken had. <laughs> well, did, did you say the whole part about the, the mayor hiding it out loud, or was that out of character? No, I said that out loud. We're, yeah, we're in the character. Your your father was like, oh, he's not hiding it. Everybody knows about this. Just no one thinks it's a problem. 
So that's not. I was talking about. I, I'll just. I just like pause and then I pull the letter out, and I'll show it to him. We got an official commission to come here, but the mayor doesn't seem to know he signed it. He looks at the writing. Hey, Olivier. And he's like, "Yes, Dad." And then he kind of so he kind of gestures like, "Can I borrow it?" Can uh, I yeah, I hand it to him. He goes and he brings it over to, and then he brings it up to them to like to to show him to look. And he goes, "Doesn't doesn't that look like?" I haven't memorized all the names yet. Forgive me. <laughs> It's okay. Okay. You're probably having like seven brothers or something. No, it's and more. He's number seven. Doesn't this look like Willow's handwriting? Yeah, it looks exactly like her writing. Well, then I guess we have an idea of who sent it, but why? Who's who's that? Willow's my sister. Does she, she live her. here? Yeah. She's older or younger? I believe she's like 10. 13. 13. How many, <laughs> how many siblings do you have? <laughs> oh, a lot. We we don't like to hire labor, so we like to have children to do it for us. Ah, uh, just like the good old days. We don't pay if labor, you, we make labor. I said if you want to tell everybody, it's in the very top of your notes. Yeah. If you can. So yeah, if you look at my backstory, we can't. I list all of that. <laughs> turn, turn around, okay. we'll see. It, it, it will... I don't know if you remember off the top of your head, but you wrote it down, so it's there for you no. to use. Yeah, it doesn't there give us access. There is Connor, there is Duke, there is Willow, there is Rainer, there is Tig, and there's Jane, and there is Ellis. And Ellis is only three. Aww. But there's eight. And Halvir is 20. So we range greatly. Greatly. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, that's set, what, 17 years between the <laughs> So does mine, don't worry. Yeah, but, but we halflings live a very long time. Alright. So pour... what does your sister have to do with any of this? I don't know. Well, speaks up when you say but we halflings live a very long time. Depending. Some of us are more adventurous than others, and that kind of cuts down your lifespan. Shrike is going to mage hand the egg. Okay. It is not less than five pounds. So I was about to say. Is... <laughs> the mage um, can be up to ten pounds. Can it? Does it? Yep. Really? Hands can attack, activate magic items or carry more than ten pounds. Awesome. Did you that can change? Uh, Damn. I thought it was Damn. five. It was five. It was five pounds. Sure was I, can, I, can, I can confirm it is ten. I believe it. I'm just surprised because I thought it was five. Me too. Um, and I'm just so, gonna walk away towards the river. <laughs> okay. No, no, so no, no, he's, he's got a point. Red egg <laughs> Make sure Frank, it doesn't I... float away. Don't worry, I got this. Please don't, father, please don't kill the chicken. The father speaks up. Where, where, where are you going? We're using that. I am testing something. But, oh, okay. You were uh, all in the test, now it's my turn. <laughs> okay, but please don't kill it. I make no promises. When I get to the river, I'm dropping I'm dropping concentration on Mage Hand and dropping the egg in the river. No, 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 no. Just dip it. Like <laughs> think like a no, What's just wrong with you? Up dropping it. He said what he said. He said what he said. He hasn't he's only like a third of the way there, so uh, I'm I'm running after him. I mean, it's not that hard to catch up unless he starts <laughs> sprinting. <laughs> he so sees her running, I... he starts sprinting. <laughs> To my Mage understanding, it is also like 30 feet in front of me, plus my own walking pace. Okay, to my understanding, the egg is very warm, right? It's hot. It's hot. Uh, it's very it's hot. Warm. <laughs> How hot to the touch are we talking? It burned. It burned. Her fingers. Burned. You literally watched Mira burn her hands from trying to pick it up. So if plate. I put like a leather glove on, will I be okay? You got burned through plate mail gauntlets. Uh, okay, no, uh, that is like a lava. A, if you get burned through mithril plate mail gauntlets, which yeah. is big. There's a reason why I mage handed. Okay, but please don't drop it in the river, Shrike. Isn't 
Be the gentle, it's reason. just a baby. Uh, oh, as you I guys... I not just drop the egg in the water. So who's following Shrike? I am right now. <laughs> nope. Concerned I about am. my family's property. <laughs> I am far away. I'm with Lilith, <laughs> so whatever I, Lilith is doing... I am keeping Keep my mind. distance to the point where I can see, but I am far. Shrike has picked what I my meant was, left. Who's going that direction is what I meant. I am. I'm not. I'm staying so with Lilith. Lilith. I'm not. Uh, okay, so Lilith and Mira are staying with the father? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm, well, I guess I'm I'm not following them, but I'm also interested, so I want to see what's going to happen, right, but, at a, but at a good enough distance where yeah, so it you just doesn't explode again. It doesn't you, can, you can keep your distance, like, far away. I just want to know who's going to the, the river and who's yeah. staying with the father. Nope. I'm, I guess I'm staying with the father. Okay. Because if you want to watch, you'll have to go follow them. To okay. See. Okay. Well, you're not going to be able to see it from where they're at. Okay, then I will follow them at a uh, very big distance. Gotcha. All right, so I'm going to say that do, like, Shrike is walking away, can... <laughs> walking away, mage handing this uh, ruby red egg, and uh, mage hand, and Brea's like trying to like, no, no, don't do it. And you all are like, okay, this is going to end bad. And you see, <laughs> kind of walking away really far. Probably like, about 30 I haven't known Shrike least. long enough, but this is going to go poorly, and I know it. And I know it. So, uh, for whatever reason, the father seems to be holding his head like this, still. Well, you all seem to get along quite nicely. Are you her friends? Is that what I heard you say? Yeah. Yeah, we went to Academy with her. Four. Yeah. Oh, well, fantastic. some of us. I just recently got back in touch with her, but yeah. You, Elia, you're walking away. You're not part of this conversation. Yeah, that's right. I wasn't there. Never mind. Ignore that. <laughs> Is your head okay? Recently died. I, I just imagine you all turning around like, yeah, not for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Is but, your uh, head okay? Is your head okay? No. Oh, uh, you want me to take a look? He, he tries to be like more casual with it. Like, yeah. Uh, it's all that we're good. Um, so you know, tell me about Bologna. Tell me about how things are like. I'll hear from her later, but you know, I'm interested. Well, we work super, super good as a team, and look, we all made it into the elite class. She has one of the elite badges, too. Yeah, she told me about that. Ooh. He he stops for a second, and there's like an awkward like five seconds, and then he kind of leans in and goes, is "That Im is that important?" <laughs> that that means that means that we're like top of the class is like super smart. Cool. So, uh, that's like, and you see him pause for a moment. He actually takes his hands off the thing, and you see his. I'm gonna go. His, I'm his gonna hand. blow. Oh, do you blow to kind of blow it yeah. back? He doesn't notice. But he goes, mm -mm. he goes, so, like, in comparison, would that be, like, the Val person Valedictorian. Who, who sold, like, the best, uh, sweet pie that year? Like, the one, the, the, the baking contest? Yeah, like, they get the ribbons and we top. get medals. Oh, that's fantastic! Mm -hmm. Oh, She's my little boy, well. I'm so proud of her. To be quite honest, I didn't understand at first when she told us, but now, now I understand. Yeah, yeah, she, we got, she got a blue ribbon like that. She's, she's Valona's best baker, in a sense. Yes. Yeah. Best anchor. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> so, I'm gonna move back over to the people going towards the river. So, Brea, Shrike's about to get there. Is, uh, are you doing anything more before he concludes his trip? I'm just kind of like standing Shrike. nearby and looking kind of worried but wanting to be close to help. Shrike did confirm because Brea asked nicely he wasn't going to just drop the egg. Right. 
Okay. You are oh, well. now at the river, Shrike. Um, I'm actually going to stop 30 feet away, because that's the range of Mage Hand. Okay. Um, and the egg has already hurt me once. Um, this is hopefully not going to give it a second chance. Um, now, while I'm not dropping the egg in, I'm basically, like, I have the egg in my hand, and I'm just lowering it all the way in. I am dunking it. Immediately. Immediately. Immediately, as it's going down... It doesn't even get to maybe a foot away from the water, and the water starts bubbling. That's fine. When you go to submerge it, the water recedes. Huh. Until it, there's about maybe a foot diameter where you can literally move the egg to the bottom of the riverbed without any water getting to it. You could use it to search for pretty river rocks. And, and basically, it all dry, it's not even like the rocks, they're wet anymore. It just all dries up right. as you set it down in the riverbed. Hmm. Alrighty. Since it's an egg. So Salamander speaks up. He goes, me and Undine don't really mix, so Undine spirits will kind of avoid touching fire unless, you know, they're putting it out kind of thing. So is this you? He kind of scratches his head with his spear. Um, it's hard to say. I mean, it has a lot of my essence, but it's not me. He sounds like almost <laughs> offended you would say that the chicken is him. <laughs> So would you say this is the one we were sent here to deal with by when uh, when we were doing different. when we were doing the ritual he had us do the creature how do I explain it in mortal terms basically is this the bad guy this, how do I dumb this down this, for you? <laughs> This is filled with my elemental essence and has the potential to be much greater than that. But the one Deep Root mentioned has a great fire essence, but it's of elemental nature. So this the, is not the, the abomination for. essence. Are we killing it or not? No. Made by a wizard. This conversation is happening in my head. Nobody hears. I that. know. Hey, I said that um, out again. As far as oh, Eulalia, as far as Eulalia can make out, she's seeing the egg at the riverbed. The water's not touching it, but she can't really even hear what Brea and Shrike are really talking about if they're talking at normal tone. So this is not the one Deeper sent us for. I'm just doing like little hops to see if I can see past them. <laughs> I mean, he's really tall. Listening to a one sad conversation. <laughs> and, and Brea, Brea oh, you don't even hear my side. <laughs> Brea's sitting there and she only hears what Shrike is saying, so it's really awkward one-way conversation to his shoulder. Um, I'm truly just shocked at what the water did still. Oh, fair enough. But, uh, so Salamander goes, if I were a betting spirit, no, this is not what Deep Root sent us for. Alright, I'm gonna pick the egg back up with Mage Hand, take it back to the father, and tell the group this is not the one we're here for. And the moment that it lifts high enough, the water starts flowing again on that spot. And then Shrike's walking back. Do you think if we walked with this under the ocean, it would create a bubble? Probably not big enough. In a foot diameter? <laughs> It'd probably be, be very hot, I'm gonna be honest. That's true, it would probably boil us inside the bubble. Yep. Unless you have fire resistance or immunity. Never heard of that. <laughs> I'm gonna follow Shrike back to the group. Okay. You well, Leo? Uh, It, so they're basically returning to 
the father. I okay, feel uh, comfortable assessing that this is not a normal chicken. Well, <laughs> good job. Thank you. Well, this is not a normal chicken. I can confirm, or at least give reasonable suspicion, this is not what we're here for. Do you think another ch chicken will hatch, or like a dragon? According it to your father to and your family, come back as a chicken, but. From what your brother told us, it seems like it keeps changing color. The more that it explodes, so your dad using it to clear the rocks is probably no good. Yeah. I think this chicken needs to find a home. Mm -hmm. But first, can I keep should... it? No. You see, Halvir... Halvir... Keep it, Mira. You can find a way to carry it. Halvir taps his father. See? I told you this was not a good idea. That's so rude that you keep hurting the chicken. Would you hurt your own chickens? Would you yeah. just bash yeah, your own chickens with a stick? That's so he mean. Gives, he kind of gives a confused frown. We eat chicken all the time. Fried chicken is my favorite. Well, yeah, it's good, but... You whole bunch of murderers. Yeah, but you don't just hit the chickens for no reason. You, we, you hit them well, you had a reason. You knock it out. <laughs> That, that you're, it's, it's chicken abuse! It's chicken abuse, it's so rude. How is that abuse? Yeah. We were gonna eat it! Well, but you don't keep smacking it! Well, it wouldn't stay dead! <laughs> <laughs> Valid point. That's fair. Uh, okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go find a, Willow. Yeah, I was actually gonna ask about that. It, you mentioned the handwriting belonged to a Willow. Yeah, Where it looks we find like my it? sisters. Let's go see if we can find her. Do we? Sh we should probably leave the, the egg here. I'm actually just confused. In case. What are you confused about? The when you guys got the letter entirely, you said it was signed by the mayor. Yes. It's, at least it had the mayor's signature at the bottom. Yes. This but paper, now that started to fade. Mayor, but this signature, just the okay. mayor's name. Okay, and so some other okay. facts, like the time frame. This okay, paper so, is magical. So, the signature was from the mayor, but the request itself was from Willow, it seems. Maybe. Or someone got her to write it. I don't know. Okay. Then I guess our next bet is to find Willow and get some answers. I'll right, turn Freya. to my dad and ask if he's seen her lately. Now that you mention it. And he goes, hmm, and the thing goes, hmm. When is the last time you saw Willow? He kind of... Alvira rolls his eyes. Me and Dad have been doing this for at least two days straight now. Getting rid of rocks. Maybe Mom has a better idea of when the last time she's been around? Okay, well, uh, not that I'm a parent, but that sounds like a bad way to parent, by the way. Two days out here straight. But he puts his hands on his head, and he goes, Freya, uh -huh. when have our parents ever watched over us? We were able to do whatever we want growing That's up. That's true. Was it any different for them? They're not as tall as me and can't punch things as well. Fair enough. Even I can't attest to that. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to go find her. Okay. Well, make We're sure you're gonna you guys... leave the exploding chicken egg over here, away from the house. And Take uh, care do not of touch it. it. It is extremely if hot. If anything weird comes out of it, please tell us. Sure. And don't poke it. It needs time to rest. You need to rest. You. It's been out for two days. You need to go and eat and take a nap. But uh, right as father goes. Well, make sure you guys are back for dinner. You guys are more than welcome to stay with us and eat with us and tell us all about Valonas and how how cool it is. Oh, we're staying here. <laughs> but, uh, Alvier goes, oh, good Lord. yeah, don't be strangers. At least spend some time with Mom and Dad while you're here. Yeah, no, we're gonna stay here. Okay. And they... Go back all of us messing with the egg. No, leave the egg alone. You go take a break. You give that egg a break. You stop it. 
Mira, would you like to remain here as the ex guardian? <laughs> kind of, but that means I'll just be sitting here. Have her go, don't worry. I'll keep dad from messing with it anymore. Okay, thank you. Let's go find your mom. As I'm walking away, I'm gonna tell the dad. Uh, you might want to fix your your hair. <laughs> and he he looks at the rest of you. I look away. <laughs> That'd be rude to point it out. Lily. And, he, he, and then I keep going. I just saw. Well, he he kind of leans backward. Thanks. Appreciate it. Right. It's sort of like not telling someone they got a booger. Like. <laughs> That's kind of, is, is it ruder to tell someone they got a boogie or to not tell someone they got a boogie and just walk around with a boogie like it? I prefer <laughs> saying nothing as I don't have to face the embarrassment of telling them. Yeah, but then that's, you're you're just gonna let them walk around with a boogie. That's so messed it's not up. Not my fault. So, what's <laughs> next on the to-do list? Just we're tracking down. Trying to go first find mom. I mean, as far as giving ideas that I'd imagine Bray would have, like, well, your house? <laughs> uh, yes, the idea is the house, but I want to see if maybe she's at school or something, so... Well, yeah, because uh, her dad said that the mom might know where she is, so... So we're going to go see the mom. Hmm. Okay, we're going to see the mom. Name. We're going to see my mom. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go see mom. my mom. She's yes, more than just my mom, she's the mom. Wait, is she my mom too? She's the mom. She's the mother for those who don't have mothers. Aww. Aww. She likes to feed hungry children. Aww. That's nice. Uh, her, her family... Uh, what did we establish that your last name was Hearth? Yeah. I said the Hearth family has been very much known to be very charitable. Being the biggest farm and the most prosperous of the farms, um, basically if the other parts of the town fall on hard times, or even with the profit that they make from selling their crops to Valona, they've never ever turned away somebody that needed help within their community. Yep. So, she, Rhea's family and herself are pretty well respected. Uh, Brea's respect is a little newer. Yeah, Brea's respect is a lot more new, though. That is correct. But as you guys make your way over, you guys are seeing a lot of these, uh, like, in, in the hill houses. Like, they're in the dirt. Like, imagine a mound of grass, and then it's just, like, door. Mm. Uh, houses. But... When you start getting close to Brea's house, which is not too far away from where they were blowing up rocks, it's almost as if they took the tallest hill and possibly turned it into a giant <coughs> house. There's even a uh, very large tree growing out the top. We got a lot of people here. I need a big house. Because you're drinking Coors Light. Oh, see, they, my mute button doesn't quite work, but it does sometimes. It does. All right, Brea. I mean, you guys are just outside your Brea's home. Yeah, we're go we're gonna go inside. Is the door unlocked? Well Open door policy. I imagine that the door is unlocked, seeing as lots of people are out working right now. Rhea, it's oh. your house. We're not just gonna barge in. You gotta take uh, yeah, the Yeah, I am opening the door. Okay. Like, I'm going inside. Okay. The, the way this community is, it's very rare that people really have to lock their doors here. Only at night. Mm. And that's just because Must the bears be nice. can open handles. <laughs> <laughs> I just got an idea for a character. <laughs> no. Is it a bear that can open doorknobs? No, it's a trainer. Just so you know, your, your 
steel horn and the horse with armor is still following you. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, they should probably not are come one of my us. siblings around here. Just like in eyesight. How high is the ceiling in the house? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, you might have to crawl. I was about to say, the door itself, uh, halflings are very fond of like circular doors. And they're usually, they're very close to the ground. So, being that the door maybe is a little bit taller than most halflings are, it, it, it basically is coming up to, like, your waist. At most. So what I'm ever, hearing, like, this is me. Did you ever, like, build a snow fort when you were little to play in? That's, like, what my house will be to you. You're probably... A foot taller than Gandalf. <laughs> oh my god, I'm walking so, up my knees. He, he's running into the chandelier, but you're running into the damn ceiling. I walk in. Okay, everybody's just kind of going in. I'm gonna poke my head in, because so, I feel the entryway is like gives you vision into the kitchen, correct? Yeah. Yeah, is my mom in there? Usually in these bigger homes, it's all the way towards the back, so it's just straight back. I'm yeah. trying to tell the goat and the horsey to stay, but they're probably not listening. Do Do I spot my mom? Surprisingly enough, the steel horn sits. <laughs> That's a good it has, boy. It has its front leg straight, but its back leg just going. That's a good boy. You're the bestest boy ever. The horse. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie up the horse at the guest horse rest. Okay. And I'm gonna leave Mira with her sitting goat friend. I'm um, gonna head inside. So, as I said, as you open the door, there's just this like little chime, this little light ringing, uh, your wind chimes that your mother is very very fond of. She kind of uses that as a way of hearing people come in. Mm -hmm. She usually has them outside, but she has one pair by the front door just so that it rings when people come in. I look at Shrike and I tell him to watch the wind chimes. Well, they're attached to the door. Yeah. So if you open the door, they just ring just, from the door moving. Just don't want him to take them out trying to, you know, stand properly. I gotcha. But it your brain is immediately just overwhelmed with just the feel and smell and the ambience of home. I smell bread. Is it? Oh! Who is it? It's Brea! Oh, here? Brea? And you see her come around the corner and she's like, oh, oh, and she just turns in. She has like, <laughs> uh, like, it looks like she, I guess she has mitts and an apron on. And she kind of has, I guess, a little bit of dough on her face or something. She has something on her face. And you just see her come running. Oh, oh, the gods, oh, the gods. Oh, and she just squeezes Rhea just like almost like. It would be hard to imagine that if Rhea's strength came from somewhere, it would have to be your mother. As those are. Everybody gets to see him hug. Yay! I and I'm also going to tell her we have a present for the family. I'm going to open the door wide enough so she can see. Uh, I'm sitting there I feeding him? it a cookie. <laughs> what I name him? George? Albatross. No, no, Gary. no. It was Gary. 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 Yep. This is Gary. Oh my word. And you see him go out. Who is this handsome... Devil, and she, you see him like scratching his chin and rubbing his face. And he's loving it. My name is Shrike. Shouldn't we notice? <laughs> My name is Shrike. <laughs> and she starts to kind of look around. She goes, Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we get that a lot. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm I'll take Rhea, a don't be rude, introduce me! <laughs> I was about to say, take a second to introduce everyone! Hello! 
This is my mom, Nehru. Ooh. I'm my mom. <laughs> I, I said her name. Yep. My mom. Okay. This is Shrike, Mira, Lilith, and Hello? Yulia. That's Elia. kind of squint. Squint. Elia. <laughs> Elia. You Elia. You Elia. You Elia. So I can't when, pronounce her name very well. When you, when you bring like when you introduce Shrike, she walks up. She kind of, she kind of like taps Shrike's like chest area. Are you a tree? Mm. Get that a lot, actually. A tree, but like made out of a rock. Oh. Hmm. So, you're a golem? No. Hmm. I'm. You know what? Yeah, this... we're a golem. She goes, it doesn't matter. If you're a friend of Brea, that's all that matters. Welcome, hun. And she goes Between to the Between you and me, I'm scared of her. That. <laughs> Who was the next person on the list? Mira. So she goes, oh, what lovely colors. Oh, thank and you. She, she, like, no boundary. She immediately goes and grabs your ears. They're so soft. I know, aren't they? She has to kind of, like, reach up really far because oh, the ears is oh, a because you are so lovely. Thank you. You have a lovely home. You're welcome to be here as long as you like. And who is the next person? A uh, Lilith. She goes, oh. Fancy. Because Lilith has more, like, leather attire. So she looks much more... I guess you could say she looks a good bit more military than the rest of you. She goes, hmm, hmm, nice to meet you too. She goes, how are you with knives? Very good. Great, you can help me in the kitchen. She <laughs> <laughs> moves on to the next person. This is you, Elia. Hi. You're not a half thing, are you? No. A no? Smaller than me. I'm I... actually more dwarvish than I am anything else, but also uh, an elf. I'm half elf, half dwarf. Wow. wow. That's a lot of beard. <laughs> Oh, oh, and uh, we can't forget Aurora, who is vaguely somewhere. <laughs> She's probably still outside. Well, as I'd say, uh, Aurora's just been kind of following. I When people aren't here, I just kind of had them autopilot. They just kind yeah. of fade into the background. Yeah. But uh, she goes, but I don't think I've ever met anybody smaller than me. Yeah. Yeah, um, I get that a lot. Uh, this is my friend, Elvi, and she kind of just flies oh, out from behind me. It's beautiful! And do you see her, like, try to, like, does Elvi's son, she's, like, trying to, I wouldn't say she's trying to grab her, but just kind of, like... Give her a platform? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, she, uh, and she just kind of, like, sits on her hand. Yeah. Well... Anybody has a friend such as this, they must be just as special and amazing. And she lets Elvie fly again. Ray has made such wonderful, wonderful friends. Well, I, I went would... to. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I went to school with Mira, Lilith, and Aurora, and then we met Shrike after, and then Yulia along the way. Unless Yul Yulia also went to our school, and I don't know yeah, that background. Yeah. She didn't. Yulia. Yeah. Yulia. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't become an elite, though. She yeah. went down a different path. I'm the only one here who did not go to a school. Yeah. Uelia yeah. also went to our academy. Right. Boldly I... and proudly. I didn't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. Oh, I, I, I put my time into research and studying. 
Oh. I did that too, but I, I was researching how to punch people. <laughs> well, I freaked out. Uh, you're one of those smart individuals. You might be able to help us out of the school. Goodness knows we could use a new teacher. Mrs. Witherby, she's getting on in her years, and she doesn't remember quite as much as she used to. She taught my dad. She's been around a long time. Wonderful woman. Why doesn't she just retire? Because there's no one to replace her. He gives a, just a soft laugh. Yes, dearie. We we work for a joy in our lives. That's just something we do till the day we die. And there's I no doubt you'll to... ever be able to convince her to not teach until the moment she dies. Yeah, so I probably wouldn't have used that word. <laughs> Other word would you use? Pass Passes, on. moves on, retires. Pro Goes into the next phase of life. Well, we try to use one stuff. with nature. We we try to use stuff that involves the land around us. So, yes, I'm become sure. one with the land again. Oh, hopefully we not the one life. that your husband is exploding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Her tone just like really really <laughs> sharp all of a sudden. Apparently, oh. he's been playing with an exploding chicken. <laughs> he crosses her arms and her look at Sirius. Ooh. Your father told me that he was getting a professional to handle that. If that's... Uh, well, they found Hal a professional. <laughs> that's Hal Beer poking it with a stick? That's the professional. Well, they stopped poking it. Now they're deliberately beating it. So. They beat Hal it with Beer was participating in this? Yes. Oh, no, no, he was trying to stop him. And, and just just now he said he would make sure that they took a break. You quickly learn in this family that if you protect people, you go down with them. Oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, she goes, that, uh, that aside, ma'am, we actually came here to uh, ask you a couple questions. Oh, by all means. Uh, I am in the middle of making dinner for tonight. Did you want to Chat while I make food? I'll help! Sure. Uh, sure. Did you need any help? Yes! I need that handy network with all those knives. Now, the thing is, Lilith isn't showing any knives. No, I'm not. <laughs> but she, could, she, interesting enough, she could tell. Just, just I a just, FYI. I just lean, lean to Lilith and I'm like, she has eyes in the back of her head. He's scary. I she like it. Oh, like it. But uh, yeah. so she goes, "Come, come," and she heads over to the kitchen. So about and what time I gotta set my anchor looking? aside and like take my backpack off and take my boots off. At this point in time, to give it like a, an equivalent, it's probably about four p.m. give or take. Okay, so it's still not quite dark. Correct. Because that was my concern. Just, it's just a matter just, of trying to still find Willow while the, you know. Yeah, just for the sake of convenience anyway. and not adding like a whole bunch of real world elements. Basically, it starts getting dark at seven. Yeah. Okay. And it starts getting it starts getting light at seven. Well, Brea would know that, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Well, everybody would know that. Except for Shrike. Except for Shrike. Basically, the sun rises like at 6, and then it's like pretty much daylight at 7, huh. and the sun starts to go down at 6 p.m. and becomes dark at 7. Water is vaguely lighter now. It must be daytime. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so deep into the water, I can't tell if it's day or night. What is Strike, day? Strike finally comes out of the water one time. What is this non-water? <laughs> what, what happened is to this the water? illumination? Um... Shrike is just going to cut right to the point. Where's Willow? Okay, well, hold on some, some background. As she's like halfway down the hall towards the kitchen where she ran from, she goes, she's in the kitchen with me. Oh, perfect. Let's go. So we received a... Well, we didn't receive. We picked it. But we took a job 
that was posted for Midway Borough and said that there there was an issue that needed to be taken care of. It had the mayor's name on it, but the mayor doesn't remember signing it, and then Halvir looked at it, and he said it looked like Willow's handwriting. Hmm. That's odd. And you guys are walking and talking towards the kitchen, right? Yes. Yep. Shrike okay. is, like, bent over trying to walk there without bumping into things. Well, you're still having a hard time not doing it, but every time you do, she's like, don't worry, it's okay, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys make your way to the kitchen, and this kitchen is actually really large for the size that halflings are. But there's just food everywhere. Like, Shrike is going to find a corner and sit down. Well, there's actually more space in this kitchen than there was in the hallway. Can I stand up fully? Yeah. Shrike is going to stand in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Freya, you notice that there's no Willow. She goes, huh, that's odd. She was right here. I'm surprised she didn't come out to greet you. Hmm. Has Willow been acting weird lately? Now that you mention it, she has been a little bit reserved. She hasn't been talking as much. Sorry, how old is Willow oh, again? Thirteen. It's a genie from the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Willow is the one releasing the fire. Willow is the chicken. Well, it's really important I talk to her, so I'm just going to go peek around in the house in places that she normally hangs out. Sure. Did Strike actually say that out loud? No. Okay. So she just starts working on what she was working on. It looks like she's uh, seasoning and prepping a very large-looking, I guess what it would be the equivalent of... Uh, our world is a turkey. Yeah. How long has Willow been kind of out of it and reclusive lately? As I'd say, if you guys can, make sure that when you talk out of character, you say out of character. That way I make sure I can differentiate. This is interesting. You can't tell by the voice? <laughs> oh, sometimes, yes. Sometimes. Like, right now, this is Petey, and... Then this is Lilith. Like, come on. <laughs> I... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look around. Okay. I'm Character. gonna stay. What's your passive perception? Mine. Correct. Uh, let me look for it. Eleven. Okay, give me a perception check. Oh, well, that's a janky dice roll. A 14. You notice that one of the windows to, like, you guys came in through the front? Mm -hmm. Like, one of the side windows, like, to the left of the kitchen is open. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tap my mom on the shoulder and point to the window and then do the, like, finger over the mouth to be quiet. Hmm. And then I'm gonna go towards she the window. just says very softly, though, she goes, I didn't open that. I'm gonna quietly walk to the window. Okay. Give me a stealth roll, please. Stealth check. I was about to ask if you wanted help. I have it at a disadvantage, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> Why how big, how big is this window like while she's this? rolling? How big is the window? How big is the window while she's rolling, yeah. Uh, I mean, if the door is uh, any indication, because these, as I said, they're very fond of round. It's probably one-fourth the size. Got a 13. Uh, as you go to move, you immediately bump the table and make a, like, <clears throat> you know, like the, the noise the table makes <laughs> when you grind it all on the wooden floor. I pay attention as I walk to the window quietly. <laughs> well, there doesn't seem to be anything else in your way as you go. You can at least move the table back, and <clears throat> she moves it back. <laughs> I'm gonna stick my head out the window. Do I see anyone? That's really weird. Why would she run away from us? Why would she run away from you? 
Yeah. You're all your siblings like adore. Well, with the exception of Halvier, which tries to keep up his older brother appearance. But even then, I imagine growing up, her and Halvier got into a lot of trouble. Oh yeah. I mean, most of her. The only person that's really not that mischievous is Tig. I think she went outside. Do you want me to go look real quick? But she just continues messing with quote unquote turkey. I'll help cook. Day. I shall um, help cook. I help. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be I'll be back, Brea. I'm gonna nod at Lilith, yeah. And For I'm gonna sneak that, away. Let me just explain quickly what Willow looks like though. <laughs> I'll grab any small child. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, I found you! <laughs> she has oh, yeah. brown curly hair. And that differentiates her from us. Your daughter? No, no, she just took after my dad and not my mom. <laughs> but your dad doesn't have me here. You, 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 you were gonna go talk. try and find her? My yeah, dad I'm, used to have I'm going I'm on the go, hunt. I'm, I'm gonna go with you. I'm sneaking away from the mom, from the kitchen. Mm. Make a I sneak that you're... Yeah, I'm gonna also follow you. Sneaking? Mm-hmm. Sneak check. Ooh, that well, is a that. Gonna... 25. Fantastic. Wow. No, I, that's not a nat 20. Uh, I got a dirty 20. Woo! Damn. Okay. Dirty 20. So, everybody's kind of, you know, just playing around. And the next thing, though, Bray is, or the next thing Bray knows, uh, Lilith's well, gone. <laughs> and Yoli is gone. The hell? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Mira and be like, yeah, my dad he he lost his hair because his best friend when they were drunk convinced him to drink a potion that gets rid of your hair permanently and he didn't believe it would happen and that's how he lost his hair. Luckily, some of it grew back, but unfortunately, not all of it. Just his eyebrows. Oh. That's so sad. You hear wow. in the shadows next to you. <laughs> 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 so, Mira's gonna help? I help. I just it... need a survival check, please. I'm not good at that. Actually, I could say that this can go along the lines of performance. You can use performance for yes! this. Yes! I'm gonna help okay. with the cooking. You're, you're you going use... and looking. You can't. You God can't dang looking. it! I'm staying in the house. That's you only a use five, so ten. Or I'm not well, sneaky enough. I rolled bad, so that's only a 10. I can still help. Can Turn I help? Turn. Yeah, like I said, you, all you have to do is roll performance or survival. I'll roll survival. I'm changing what the dice again. What is going again. on with my dice? They're moving so slow. They do what they want? I got oh. 21. God dang it. Okay. I'm, nah. I'll do whatever right. she did to that turkey. So... Basically, what really throws Mira off is the pace. I mean, Mira's starting to get pretty good at doing these kind of things herself, but y you grew up in a more... I guess... You grew hands up in more, a more yeah, hands-off household where you didn't get to really do this stuff for yourself. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're basically trying to keep up with a mother whose profession happens to be such things as cooking. And Brea, who grew up watching her cook, so she knows exactly what to do. Like every, it's almost like watching a master chef and a sous chef. Like Brea always has the ingredient her mother needs next before her mother even has to ask for it. And sometimes she doesn't even ask for it; she just knows it's going to be there. So you assist the best you can, but for more or less, they they got it covered. Uh, I which... know the kitchen like the back of my hand too. I then I then it. I take time to try and sneak samples. Yeah. You don't have to sneak, you can just ask. The moment you do, she goes, Oh dearie, you can eat as much as you like, don't worry. We'll just make more. Without even turning around. She does have eyes in the back of her head. It's so Mage creepy. Hand. Out of character, Mage Hand brushes the hair up to see if there is actually eyes in the back of her head. <laughs> well, as you go to sweep her hair... She kind of bends forward, and she's like, Don't mess up my bun, please. 
But she leans forward to, like, work on the food. Like, she leans forward to, like, mess with dressing or something. But as she does, she says, don't mess up my hair, please. Um, so, Shrek is gonna ask, how long has Willow been reclusive and kind of zoned out? Lately. Four weeks? When yeah, did the chicken first show it. up? Four weeks? <gasps> when did the masked guy in town show up? Hold on. She Press actually off. stops making food and turns around. You don't think that's just a weird coincidence, do you? I know nothing. Well, we know that there's a strange jester who's in town. The chicken is new. Yes. Uh, Will is acting weird. As soon as she says about this, oh yes, he's he's actually a very uh, charming little fellow. Yeah. At face value. When did he show up? Uh, probably about five weeks ago. He came and had some food and we chatted. Hmm. Same in person. Did he have a chicken by chance? No, he did not. Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure you never know. All right, I'm gonna switch over really quick to uh, our sneaky group. Sneakies. <laughs> so where are you guys sneaking to? Like where are you guys heading? So, uh, okay, orient so orientation my, of the house. Yeah. What right. my thought was, the window was open, even though that they said it was closed. Correct. Yes. Uh, so my first thought is footprints. See anything? I mean, I want to get to that side. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make another nature check for halflings. I imagine that would be. I don't know if that's history or nature. Hang on. Well. <laughs> well. I mean, let's put it to you this way: they're both plus five, so either way, the answer is twenty-four. Sure. <laughs> so whichever one you want, the answer is still 24. Sure, I want to make sure I use the correct one. Yeah. Historic so events, legendary people, ancient, ancient kingdoms, history, recent wars, and lost civilizations. What brings would, would be. Or um, about survival. Animals, weather, it would and probably just people. be an investigation, though, wouldn't it? Well, what footprints is survival? Survival, survival you know, tracking. You'll understand yeah. what I'm about to say, and that's the reason why. Okay. Actually, based off of what I'm looking at here, it would just be a straight intelligence check. Okay, then that's still a plus five, so the answer is still 24. <laughs> if you're... It should just be your intelligence modifier. Oh, no, oh, 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 never mind. I was looking at a saving throw. It'll be a 22. Yeah. My bad. yeah. Uh, so basically, what you know about halflings is a lot of them walk without shoes. And, you know, they're pretty good about being tidy, but it's fairly common, you know, for the floors to be covered in footprints. Like, a lot of footprints. Okay. I meant on, like, the, well, I guess the outside or whatever, from where the window would have been and... Okay. So that's Any fresh ones. There. Yeah, it was from well, as if somebody had jumped out the window, and then left in a in a path. Would we have? Would we see one? That would be a survival check. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to roll again, or just use what I had and then add the modifier? Well, it would be a different roll. Okay. The other roll was basically to just. Well, that was a seven. The other one was just basically to understand, but mm -hmm. basically, you're not going to really get good footprints inside. Oh, well, I wasn't house. looking for some out inside, I was looking for them outside. Yeah, when we got to that side of the window. Gotcha. Well, in that case, yes, we can use the, the previous roll. My apologies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So, what would that would be? If I rolled a 19 and then plus 2, so 21. Okay. So. so interestingly enough, you didn't really expect to really find anything, but what you notice isn't the footprint. Right on, what you notice isn't the footprints on the ground. You notice because 
because the way that halfling houses are, there's a lot of like natural growing stuff, mm -hmm. like even right above the window. But you notice that a lot of that is on the ground, like the stuff that would be growing above the window. It looks like it's almost been pulled off, almost as if somebody had like gone out the window and gone up. Okay. Like they were using it as vines, and of course, grass isn't as good as a vine is, and so whatever it was, maybe. How high it. would you say this, the top of the house is? I mean, for Uelia, it's a pretty far reach. Yeah, but, but... for Lilith, uh... I mean, it's probably five feet. Like. So, Shrike could just be so like... what do you think, well... Uelia? I'm whispering. Oh. Uh, and I'm looking up to just to see if you could just catch what I mean by the looking up. All right. Are you just pointing? I, I, yeah, I'm just, well, yeah. I'm looking up and then I'm going to point and then. Oh, no. Nah. So, uh, right. I'm also, uh, I was, I guess I'm just going to say in hushed tones, like, well, would you be able to get up there? If not, I have an idea. I mean, I can do it. based off of what. Lola saw from the outside, like, you could easily just put your arms on the roof. I'm gonna parkour and, this thing. And just pull yourself up. I'm gonna okay. go quickly then. Literally, the house is built into a hill. Like, you can literally, like, walk around to the non-wall side. I showed the picture earlier, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, you can literally walk to the non-wall side and just literally walk on top of the house. Okay. So then I cannot do that, but... But if you walk around, oh, you get on okay. Yeah, I'll It'd quickly go up there, though. Instead, I'm just going to have LV fly up as okay. Lilith is climbing up there. Yep, I'll quickly jump to get up there. So you squeeze through the window, and then you just yep. pull yourself up. Well, you're, you're literally standing on the roof already. All right, anything up here? Other than the tree. Alright. How long has it. that tree been there? <laughs> Are you saying that out loud? I'm, I'm in the kitchen. Sorry, I'm, oh, I'm back. Oh. Going. So, by I'm the way, how long has that tree been up there? <laughs> I'll walk around the base of the tree quickly and see if there's any holes or anything into it. I cannot hear you. Sorry, survival check. I was trying to be weird. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do it with these dice. Straight roll. A 10. Nothing in particular. No holes, no nothing. Mm -mm. Alright. I'll climb the and tree. And I'm saying, well, what's your passive perception? 12. Yeah, nothing. Nada. Alright, how hard would it be to climb this tree, actually? I mean, give enough time, it should be easy enough. Alright, I'll... You can tell, you can tell just by looking at it, though, like, this tree has had a lot of wear and tear from people climbing it over the years. Mm -hmm. There's actually spots where you can see where... Do I see this tree from where I am, or do I need to, like, take a step back or climb? Are you going around to be on the outside? I wasn't. I was still on the ground floor right next to, or rather, underneath that window there. Well, if you look up, you can definitely see, like, the top of the tree. But to okay. see the base of the tree, you would have to either get to the okay. roof by so climbing then, or walking yeah, a little bit around. All right, so then Lilith is going to climb the tree, you said? Yep. All right, She's just going to go up. Do I see her start to climb the tree? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and go around and start following as well. So it doesn't take you that long. Uh... But Lilith, as you start to climb, you hear, Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna go quietly as the as I can. So I heard that from in the tree? It seems or... like. Okay. I'm gonna continue up. Do I look... Do I see you earlier from here, actually? When I, I look should down? Be pretty much, I should be at the yeah. base of the tree looking up and then starting to climb on, like behind you. I'm gonna put a yep. finger over my lips and then point inside the tree. I'm 
just give you a thumbs up. And then continue. Okay. Let me switch back. So you guys are in the kitchen. Making Eat, foods. No, the snacks. Oh, the snacks are mine. Mira? Yeah. This food is really good. Yeah. Um, is, is it a dirt floor or a wood floor? Uh, I would leave that up to Brea. Wood I'd floor. imagine that it's a little bit more fancy. Yeah, wood floor. Yeah. Fancy. Dirt, dirt let bug in. Oh no, don't scratch her wood floors. <laughs> Brea did that. Why don't you move the table? Love you, Jenny. Uh, if you if you look at the floors of this place, they do have scuffing because like twelve children have been through here. Also, now a giant. <laughs> and then there's also uh, clumsy individual. She looks at Bria. I keep bumping into the tables. I was trying to be sneaky and I wasn't looking. You're always trying to be sneaky and not looking. I know. <laughs> about my sister that's excuse enough so interesting enough so the turkey seems to be prepared or turkey and uh she goes over to this large large stove oven i mean it looks archaic because it's made out of stone but it's actually very well crafted uh it's hard to imagine that this could have been done by hand and she opens it up and you can see inside is this just uh, the smooth surface, and like beneath it, it's it's almost think of a grate, like a grill, but it's all made out of one solid piece of snow or stone, snowed. Uh, but she, you see her go, help me out, will you? And this little little fire creature appears in her hand. Strike you you get a like a a connection like you, you feel this little spirit. That's that's a salamander. That's an essence of salamander. Not nearly as condensed into like a sentient form, but like that that's primal fire. And it, Is there a sink full of water right now? No. Is there a sink that I could fill with water? Yes. I'm gonna do that and have Mira show up in the water. I don't want to get in the water. <laughs> so. Other Mira. Other Mira. Okay. Mira with one R. I'm sorry. This is gonna sound really mean, but this is what just appeared in my head. Strike goes over to the sink, <laughs> and he does what he does to fill it with water. And then he just grabs me and just dumps it in the water. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> so, but uh, you see the little fire spirit jump out, and then all of a sudden, the base, like within the stove, just roars with a huge flame, and she slowly pushes the bird inside there, and she shuts it. She goes, thank you. And then she sees that you're messing with the water. And she goes, oh, yes. Uh, my husband's really, really good at uh, irrigation. That was his main thing. It, was, it made a lot of our lives really easier. Uh, plumbing, he called it. Uh, but basically, yeah, we can have running water here. And uh, the basin that is there is filling up with water. God knows how Shrike figured out that it could spew out water. <laughs> Shrike just does things. Shrike went over to it and started hitting buttons so it worked. Oh, it's just a candle. Just... Shrike was like, I'm made out of metal. It's made out of metal. I can figure it out. <laughs> the thing is that for some reason it just made sense to Shrike. It's very odd. Shrike just knew how it worked, and he knew how to plug it, and now it's filled with water, now it's filled with water. It's it filled. It's, it's filled. It, it's oh no. Slow. Shrike turns it off, and okay. um, 
because like I'm still connected to Mira because I never dismissed mm -hmm. Mira. Um, I just kind of left the water where Mira was. Um, I'm gonna have Mira appear in said water. In the water. Please. <gasps> she goes. Is that an undie? She is indeed. Hello, little undine. And she's like, hello. Very nice to meet you. That's right, Shrike. She's poking for it. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was the only one. What the fuck? How come you all get to talk to the little magic creatures and I can't? Well, Shrike also remembers that the kids were pointing out the symbols on his body. Yeah, the, the kids recognize the symbols. So, on my body are symbols that represent each of the elements. She and the goes, kids recognized it. She goes, do you talk to the spirits too? I do. Marvelous. They talk with me. My little girl did really make some special friends. Oh yeah. And she's she's kind of like using a finger and like shaking her hand and. <laughs> Shrike under have... his breath, is like I don't know if we'd call ourselves friends yet. I am terrified of her and I'd rather keep her on my good on her. Ray looks at her him and it's side. like I thought we were friends. I fought for you in the court hearings. And then you got mad at me because I marshmallowed a man. Yeah, well that's kind <laughs> of not okay. He's talking about marshmallow. <laughs> Sometimes Shrike gets too excited to use his powers. We're working mm. on it. With great but, power comes great responsibility that I don't have. Maybe the kids and my mom and everyone can see the spirits because we have learned to care so much about nature. There's a lot of theories about it. Seeing the spirits is one that thing. Close Talking to... to the spirits is another. We're close to nature. We respect nature. We have the goddess's blessing. There's goddess. a lot of theories. But mostly, goddess. I think it's just because... Freya gasps! The... The, the, the mass people, they, they got mad at us when we mentioned the spirits. They, they want the spirits. That must be why they're here. That is a just out of the blue, like epiphany moment for Rhea. <laughs> yeah. Just just stop for a moment, and like, click, 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 <laughs> click. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> he goes, "What are you talking about?" Wait, but then wouldn't they have like tried to like take Shrike because he's got all the spirits? Do you think someone could just take Shrike? I mean... Freya's mother leans... It's not like he's very strong. Just saying. <laughs> Freya's mother leans to her. God, <laughs> Shrike I... in Primordial is going to ask the mother if she can understand. Um, which Primordial? Um, I, if you're using base primordial, it's a little bit rough. It, it's not really something you, you can really use between people, so you, you, I would recommend picking one of the four. Aquan. Water. Okay. So, give or take, it kind of sounds like gurgling. But like we water. all know Aquan. Now you do. Now we all know it. But what he's testing is whether the mother knows it. Oh, we know she it. can speak to the no spirits. Idea. She goes, oh, and she starts talking fluently right back. Uh, yes, I do know Aquan. I'm going to fluently switch over to Infernal. She, and right with it, she goes, you know two? Uh, and then we're going to go to Orin. Orin? Orin? She she replies in Orin. It's like three, and then before you can do that, she speaks in Terran. She goes, Do you know this one too? And I'm gonna be and in Terran, I'm gonna say four for four. I'm gonna butt in in uh, Ignan and I'm gonna butt in in Ignan and be like What what's going on? <laughs> uh, 
You bet she speaks some ignorant, but I, my word, I haven't used these languages in ages. I said, they don't teach this in our schools anymore. Nobody was really interested in learning them. It gives us a Brea way knows them now. I'm Every, not there. The whole party knows it. Yeah. I know. So, or Eulalia. It's, yes, that's true. <laughs> Wait, what was that? I'm sorry? You're the <laughs> only one who doesn't know the primordial languages, because you weren't part of the, uh, Gaia's gift party. Oh, so you think. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Dang it, we're not I special. As far as we're aware. As far as we're aware. As far as you're aware, yes. Um, but basically, like, this will give us a way to speak in public without other people necessarily knowing what we're talking about. Obviously, anybody here will know because some of them Are you saying it. that's not loud? Yes. Yes. She goes, oh. most of the adults can speak the four languages. Oh. Only a few of us can speak primordial. It's, it's, it's kind of a hard language to really speak between people rather than between you and a spirit. Primordial is mainly to talk to non-mortal creatures. Mm. All y'all need to learn Minotaur. <laughs> That's the solution. Yeah, to be I will learn how to speak by. Bi- I'll learn how to speak by pedal cow. By pedal cow. What does the halfling language sound like? A rougher language, a softer one. I like to rem- imagine it's more like Gaelic. Okay, it's fun. But, but, I mean, it's hard to say because I don't think I've ever exposed myself to any language in D&D, other than uh, deep speech. I remember that. I'm cool with halfling language sounding like Gaelic, that's cool. But in any case... So you guys are climbing the tree. So at what point in the tree did I hear her? Oh no no. The hourglass is split, but you can't <laughs> you can't continue. <laughs> it's just a visual, guys. That's just, that's just cutting our time. <laughs> this is for something else. Lies. Oh, no. It's like it's eight thirty. Oh, no. Try and pull something. <laughs> so, repeat that one more time. Okay. At which point did I hear her voice in the tree? Like, am I in the middle of the tree? Like How the big? You started climbing. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm not oh. that far off the ground. Now, for Uelia, this tree is massive. Yeah. You, you imagine for halflings in general, this tree is pretty large. Now, do you need me to roll? Uh, the... hmm? Do you need me to roll to climb this tree? If you're gonna try and climb it, yes. Okay. Um. I'm yeah. just. Acrobatics. So, athletics. Athletics. Acrobatics is more for balance. This reminds me of breaking into the G spot when everybody else failed and got caught, and yeah. Shrek was like, "This is fine." Five. <laughs> you are really not succeeding in getting any. I just, I just keep trying to go up and just go down. Like it's like you get certain, and then it's like slide. <laughs> you go on ahead. <laughs> but... I'm just gonna stop there, where I heard her. I'm going to... But this tree... Yes. This tree is even large, even for Lilith. Mm-hmm. It's not really an issue, because Lilith's used to climbing the masts and stuff on boats, which have a lot less footing and things to hang on to. But there's a lot of places to hide in this tree. All right, well... I'm just going to say aloud, after knocking on the tree, I'll say, So, I'm guessing you're Willow. Please stop mm-hmm. hiding from us. There's nothing you need to be afraid of. Just come out. Persuasion we want to talk. Check, please. Okay. Ooh, should I trust my watermelon dice, guys? Do it, do, do it, it, do it. Card of the cards. 
Okay, I got this, guys. Persuasion. <laughs> hey, Uelia. I, I rolled a four. Um, but that's still a nine, but... Do you want me to try? He's asking for your uh, inspiration point. Unless you want to save it. I mean, you know we, no, got, you can have we it. got 25 minutes left. I was about to say, you can have it. Okay, I'll use it. Ready? That's a 15. Hmm. You hear a little voice. Please, just go back in the house. Will you follow me? I need to know. I assume Don't. I can't hear this. They're actually talking long enough, or loud enough, that you can, uh, make out through the conversation. Can I hear no. this through inside through the window? No. Aww. <laughs> oh, well. Come on, my ears. Yes, you have great ears. Yes, I do. But you're very much underground, which muffles sound. Yeah, but the window's open. <laughs> well, if the explosion goes off, you'll definitely hear that. That's fair. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know if Kachina saw my message or not, because it's important. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But as far as Lilith's aware of, you don't really have a good idea where she is, and she's not really talking anymore. From her voice, did I grasp that she's scared of anything or saddened? Insight check. Okay. That is. Uh, eight. I mean, you didn't really get heads or tails out of it. What's your passive insight? Ten. Yeah, you didn't really get anything out of it. Okay. I'm gonna I'm going look to... up towards Lilith and I'm just gonna, like, uh, just gesture with my hands, like, what's going on. I'm gonna slide down the tree. And go into Yolia's ear. Just go get Brea. She's in the tree. Okay. So I go all the way around the house again to go back down. And I'll just sit and watch. So, back in the kitchen, you guys are basically talking in all these languages, and Yolia shows up. Oh, what, what languages are they talking at that moment? <laughs> Um, stuck to Ignam. Okay, yeah, I don't know that one. But it sounds like they're all mimicking, like, what a fireplace would sound like. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, but well, we all seem to be understanding each other, too, which is the weird part. <laughs> Brea, can you come with us? Can you come with me? Yeah, actually, did you, you help find us, her? actually. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll go with them. Shrike is also gonna come. Hmm. Oh. It's claustrophobic in here. That's fair. <laughs> I, I think... mean, the kitchen's not so bad, but it is like inside is claustrophobic. -y, so. <clears throat> okay. So as if they're coming to get me, though, it, it means that Willow is uh. Oh, hundred percent. Needing to talk to family. So why don't you continue chatting? I will continue talking to my mom. <laughs> I I am going to what try and covertly shove like rolls and snack foods into my shirt and then sidestep and start feeding Gary. Okay. All of the rolls. <laughs> all of them. 
Exactly. Have as many as you'd like. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Don't give Gary a tummy ache. So, but uh, the rolls are so good! <laughs> okay, so I, I kind of just grabbed Freya's hand and just start, start walking out. The good news is, is that because it's of the sheep ram family, like, they literally can eat anything. Even things that you would normally not imagine edible. Wow. So you, you guys are making your way back around. Yeah. Uh, so and back Lilith, up found her, Lilith found her in that tree and uh, all we heard was to go back inside and then that was it. We didn't hear anything else. Well, let's see if she'll talk to me. Yeah. Uh, I'll go up to the tree and just start to climb it. Okay. Can I spot her looking up in the tree? Everybody, everybody can hear. No, 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 no. Does that include us inside? That includes everybody that's by the tree. Okay. Joy has his ear to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> what are they talking about up there? No yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, keep climbing until I catch sight of her. I'm gonna have uh, LV just kind of fly up some more to see if she can, like, with Freya and see if she can see anything. Not from inside the tree, or rather, like, right next to the tree, but at least on outside, kind of sticking close to Brea. So, basically, Brea's climbing. She's moving branches all the way. She's climbing. Mm -hmm. It's getting to the much more of the vegetative layer or starting to get like thick with leaves and stuff. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Be good. And your passive perception is 12, right? 11. 11. I only oh. got a five. See, we used up all the good rolls on yes, random shit. Did. My dice is just literally weirdly sliding across the screen so slowly. You guys at least managed to use all your inspiration this time around. Uh, yeah. Seeing that you get it every, seeing that you get it every session, like you should always burn it. But uh, I'm gonna burn. I pull out a torch. <laughs> Get out of the tree now. <laughs> oh, God. See, that's yeah. what hundred percent what Shrike was gonna do was like get out of the tree or the tree is coming down with you in it. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Shrike has a short attention span, so he wants things dealt with quickly. Well, oh. as I'm climbing, I'm gonna say, Willow, why don't you come out when we talk? I haven't seen you in so long. You hear giggling and uh a little bit off in, the, in like your upper left and you know that's of this tree that's like a very popular nook to sit there's like a really strong sturdy branch that many people like to sit at especially your family uh -huh. yeah so it was I... it was possibly a very favorite spot of brea when she wanted to get away from everybody in the town and just kind of have a moment to herself. Oh yeah, I love that. Willow used to Willow looking up to you, I guess maybe have could have adopted that spot Sounds since you've been good. gone. Sounds good. Good thing, Willow. You know, this was my favorite tree to climb before I left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Since you've been gone. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're moving the the leaves out and leaves out. And you think that you've pretty much found where she's at. And you take the leaves and you move them out of the way. And there's a mask. I fucking called face it! Face to face. I knew it. I called it. You knew it? Yeah, I had a feeling. Yep. Uh, can I launch... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Behind the mask, does it appear just to be that tiny jester? 
Or could it be my sister wearing a mask? Oh, take a look at the picture. Before you punch oh, it. Oh, there's a picture. Oh, it's cute. Oh, that's kind of creepy, too, though. Okay, I'm gonna punch it out of the tree. That's terrifying. It did nothing to you! So uh, rude! It's pretending to be my sister. Make a uh, wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, shit! <clears throat> okay, wait. These are, okay, these are the saving throws. What is going on with these dice? It's going on. 19. Okay, that's better. That does not succeed. You're joking! What? Nope. <laughs> just, just enlighten us. And I'm not what saying that just for the, the... You literally did not succeed. Uh, what the hell was the DC? 21. Oh I would need I a 19. A I, I couldn't even make that. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, basically, I have, so she's like, I found you, and then there's like a mask right in her face, and you, you can yeah. just, I don't imagine that Bray would get scared, but there's just that moment where your gut kind of goes, like yeah. you can feel your, that sinking feeling exactly. in your gut, and then it just goes, oh, and you immediately like shake it off, and it's a mask, so you're like, what? And you see her go, or it's, it's a very feminine voice, and she goes, that's not how we play. And she goes, and this is your fist. <laughs> and you're starting to feel yourself lose balance and going backward. But right before you fall completely backward, the, the mess grabs like the front, like, I don't, you're wearing half plate, right? Yes. So I imagine she's grabbing like, uh, like a leather strap or something. Yeah. And I can see from going. I was like, oh, oh, don't fall. It won't let us up back up in the tree if somebody gets hurt. Isn't that right, Willow? And a little bit behind the mask is your sister sitting on the branch, and she kind of looks over with a very solemn face, very sad. Her hair kind of drooping over one eye, only letting one eye be seen, like, as it looks at you. And you can't help but feel like there's this immense look of, like, disappointment. Not like it, she's disappointing in you, but, like, maybe the face that somebody gives towards somebody who thinks that they're disappointed in them. So, guiltiness? Guilt. That is a very, very good word to use. Thank you. You're welcome. Is, uh... Am I able to talk? All everybody else heard at this point was <clears throat> boo. Is LV able to see any of that since she was kind of following Boaster? I'll be seeing it, yes. Okay. We are not. Can I say something? Nope, can't move. Okay. Did, I guess they didn't... Well, alright, so... Oh, wait, let me... Let's, just to make sure. Do, 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 do. Uh, paralyzed. Paralyzed. Condition. Paralyzed. You're incapacitated. Can't move or speak. Okay, yeah, just double checking. No problem. Okay. So she goes, You guys took forever to come. Like, forever. I've been waiting here for weeks. Entire weeks I was waiting here for you guys to show up. Yeah, it's our bad. <sighs> uh, can LV, like, start making signals to let us know down at the bottom that something's going on? What? LV warn you? Is that something you would say I mean, LV would she, warn you about? If she, if she saw that Brea <laughs> what Brea Hopeless. saw and that Brea is now stuck. And that I Brea assume, tried to punch. Yeah. So I would uh, assume that the next thing would be call for help. I would 
Like I said, I would leave it to you to say what uh, LV's personality is. If you yeah. think LV would immediately run to tell you guys, then... Yeah, um, I absolutely think that's exactly what she... Because that's kind of what I would have her do is just... So you just see LV like huh? dart out from the top of the... Uh, Freak. Freak. Sorry. <laughs> she darts down, flies down, and she's like all frantic, like waving her hands... And uh, I don't think she can talk to anybody other than you directly. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think she can talk to anyone but myself. And so I think she has a telepathy between I mean, you. Two. Yeah, she she understands any uh, all the languages that I speak. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And she she just keeps saying mask, 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 mask. But uh, to continue with the person up here really quick, she goes. Mm -hmm. Now, I did all this work to get you guys here because your sister needs you. And we need you. So we, we need you to do a little favor for us while you're in town. For your sister's sake. <laughs> and she just kind of puffs the smoke. And you get your feeling back. Uh, you're just gonna hear it from the bottom. Bray, are you okay? The mask is gone. Uh, is Willow gone too? Nope, she's still there, but she's not looking at you anymore. Okay, uh, do, is the branch sturdy enough for me to go toward her? Yeah, this is okay. the sturdiest branch in the tree. I'm gonna call down for now, I'm okay. But I think Willow's pretty shaken up, so I'm gonna check on her. Uh... We need Shrike. <laughs> Shrike! I hear my name. No, you don't, but um, I do, bitches, because I'm outside gonna... feeding Gary. Shrike, so they're gonna... calling you. <laughs> what so is I'm, gonna... the, the, I'm climbing yeah, up the tree. Shrike... Yeah, since Shrike is so big, at least uh, try and maybe get Willow down, or at least if Bray is going to try and bring Willow down, then have somebody either hold her or carry her, something along that line. Very strong. Well, I'm, Lilith I'm doesn't check. have any problems climbing this tree, but... Yeah. I'm gonna check the rest of the tree while everyone's doing stuff. I'm gonna scoot closer to Willow. So, uh, we'll, we'll wrap this uh, up. So let me say, we'll wrap this up between... Uh, what the last thing Brea does is... Or the last thing of the session will be Brea's interaction with Willow, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. okay. So, yeah, I'll scoot closer and ask her if she's alright. She doesn't answer back. Okay, then I'm. So the moment you scoot towards her, she kind of scoots just a, just slightly. She just scoots just slightly when she feels you moving closer, and then when you speak to her, she just turns her head a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not mad at you. You haven't done anything wrong. You couldn't have known these people were bad people. You just start to hear a little sniffle. Is it okay if I carry you down? She just she doesn't look at you so much. She just nods her head. Okay. I'm gonna help her get on my back, and then I'm gonna climb down. So when she gets on it, she you just feel her head bury into Bria's back, mm. and all you hear is her sniffling and hiccuping, and there's definitely snot. There's definitely snot in there. That's okay. But. <laughs> Uh, she's trying, you can hear that she's trying to hold back crying so hard, but inevitably, your back becomes wet. It's okay. I'll just keep telling her it's okay, and I'm not mad at her. Alright. Well, if you see Bria exiting the tree with a little girl on her back. Take a deep sigh. I think the mask people might have been messing with her a little bit, so she might need some help feeling comfortable. Yeah. Here. I'm gonna check the rest of the tree, though. For anything. Good. Given enough time, there's literally nothing up here but leaves and branches. I'm just and gonna... Oh, squirrel! <laughs> but no, <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna look over to Brea's. I I throw a I dagger. Think, <laughs> I I think you two need 
some time alone to talk some things out. We will keep a look out on the area. Kind of weird. Did you actually kill the squirrel before we continue? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude. No, no. Unless it startled me, no. My apologies, Mike. Can you please say that again? <laughs> uh, just tell Brea that I think she needs to uh, take this time to talk to her sister and try and get her relaxed. We'll keep an area. We'll keep an eye out on the area in case they decide to come back around and see what's going on. Also, it, <clears throat> I want to look around Brea's house and see if that same symbol was etched into her house. So, I'm, gu I'm guessing everybody's kind of gathering up right now mm -hmm. and kind of talking. Brea's just holding her si sister who's sniffling. Yulia walks away just for a moment and takes a look, a much, much more closer look. And right there it is. But it's a little bit Odd. Why was the other way? Yeah. Is it drawn what, in blood? What makes it odd is instead of it being like flat, you know, just etched in, you only see this. It's Lower. Hmm. Is the like hmm. pink V thing there too? The what? There's like a pink V in the. Right. Well, no, that's not particularly there. Okay. If anything, there's energy kind of moving through it, but I'm okay. Nothing I'm... specifically to a V. I'm gonna touch it. I touched it. No. I need a charisma saving throw, please. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta touch it. And you disappear while none of us know where you went. 18. Mm. Does not pass. Oh. <laughs> We're in level 20 territory, guys. <laughs> I, was to, I was about to say, you guys keep forgetting that the people you're messing with are up there. Hey, you know what? Loot Boy is not up there. He's just a pain. Loot Boy is up there! So, no, so what Loot just Boy happens? is just annoying. He just has high level spells with scrolls, that's all. Just scrolls. <laughs> so, he gets Force Cage. So, so what happened? So, he died. instantly when you touch it, the world around you goes black. Oh. Mm. Just oh. you. Oh no. Um. And these. Visions start assaulting your mind. Visions of violence. Visions of anger. Visions of anguish. You can't really make Does sense it... of bills of who it is or who's on the receiving end, who's on the giving end. Like it's just almost random acts of violence. Sorry, go ahead. No, that's that's exactly what I was gonna ask. Go on. Uh, the the people, the faces you see, the people doing the, like none of these people look familiar to you whatsoever. They're all completely random. And then, in the darkness, one lone eye, one gigantic lone eye appears. And it just stares into you. And your whole body just stops moving instantly. You're fucking dead. And then you... And you snap back. And the what symbol's the, no longer pink. Or what purple. Do, purple. What do the... Well, I guess nobody... I guess no one really knew I was... No one saw you go over there. And the symbol is now not pink? It's nope. Just, is it even there? Yeah. On but the it's not. Hand. Hand. But, oh. Mm -hmm. On the back of the hand that touched the symbol, I should say. Okay, uh, that would be my right hand then. All right, come here. <laughs> we 
gotta cut it off. And I got a wish spell? Try to catch some fire spell. ready. You gotta cauterize the wound and afterwards. I have, well, since I had no idea what that symbol was, I guess I would have no idea what this was in the first place, but I guess putting two to two together is, I got marked for something. Well, they told you it was the symbol of a dark god. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right, because Brea had it, yeah. No, you do too. But, okay, I'm... I should have killed that squirrel. I should have <laughs> killed that squirrel. Okay. <laughs> and that's but what I don't. Doing. But I don't feel anything. Mm. Other than the fact that you, for your medical knowledge, that you had sleep paralysis while you were awake. Mm -hmm. Which in itself is a little bit bizarre. Okay, but... Okay. Uh... Alright, I'm just gonna let that go then. Then that's where we'll wrap it up for tonight. Hold on. I got it. Here we go. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> Emotional roller coaster. There's oh. literally a colossal eye that appeared above you, looking down on you, that looked like that. Looks Damn, Rainbow Sauron. Familiar. <laughs> oh, it doesn't get any bigger. <laughs> um, Josh, before we do actually end, can I take the large crystal out that we have and try to connect with it again? Sure. Oh yeah, we need to do that. Make a charisma just roll strength. I believe in you. Uh, twelve. A little less so now. You feel you feel that it's resisting you. Cool. But you also feel that it's growing stronger. Gosh darn it. Consume. Oh no The amount of the amount of force Yeah, the big eye above you, that's pretty much what just happened. <laughs> That's but, the best I could get out of that, but yeah. That's a, that's a really good one. Thank you. Ooh. But uh, but yeah, the amount of resistance you got the first time you tried was like almost nothing, but this time it like literally forced you back. Okay. Like before, it was kind of like a push. Okay, I'm not getting anywhere. This time it was like no out. That's lovely. Sorry right. to interrupt, but I gotta run. Hey, thanks anyway. for being with us. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Well, I hope bye, patron can. Jenny. Bye, Jenny. Bye, Jenny. Bye, bye. I'm done being the investigative chick. <laughs> You're the only I one we have with tree. investigation, though. I should have gone up the tree. Oh, actually, well, I do have a. I'm not proficient in investigation, but I do have a decent modifier. All of us are negative, okay? You're the only one with positive. I have a plus zero. I have a plus zero. Oh, I have a You're plus three. You're the only one with positive intelligence. Oh, I get plus three to investigation. That's it. Yeah, that's the highest. Level four? Okay. Well, see where it got me. <laughs> you don't but, just touch well, anyway, strange Well, anyway, you guys things. don't know it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but I hope you guys had fun, because I did Always. Didn't. Always. Obviously. But it looks Always. Like... Actually, I'm not sure. I didn't get to fight anything. Oh, God. You let the you squirrel go. go next you time, the probably. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. But... We didn't even decide if we are going to log rest. We can't log rest right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, we're in the we middle can. of doing stuff. I mean, technically, if you guys want to discuss it afterwards and in character chat. Okay. I'm always willing to continue the story when you guys are kind of just doing mundane stuff. Because, like, it is almost nighttime anyway. Correct. But. It depends if we're. Maria... Maria and Willow. Yeah. We haven't Maybe, eaten dinner yet. Story progression wise, that is it for the session for tonight. All Some right. food for thought. A fire elemental is still out there. Lolo was apparently involved with this masked individual. And Yuelia has found yet another symbol, but this time had a little bit of backlash. No one knows that but me. Right, but I said it's Actually, No one even knows that I found the symbol, to be fair. 
Shrike discovered the chicken can apparently detect when he's talking with his spirits. Oh yeah, that's a nice glove. Where'd that come from? I became hostile over it too. So rude. Alrighty, guys. Have a good night.